and we are back with part two of our first time playing factory in Horn of the Abyss. As you can now see, I made a cut almost dab smack in the middle of my original recording, and I wanted to upload the whole thing in one part, but YouTube didn't let me because it was too long. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the conclusion of this match. Upgrade these. Upgrade these. And I'm just gonna start running up. I think that's the play here. Great. Uh, yeah. Well, what can we do now? I'm gonna to town hall it. Why not? And go to town hall this town. Uh, yes, I can. I can also wall of knowledge it. That would probably be good. Uh, at Equinox. I'll portal back to Equinox. I don't... Well... This is a tower AI, right? He didn't attack me. I don't think he wants to attack into me. And to be honest, if he fights me, I could probably whoop him. But uh, what I am kind of worried about... Oh, there was actually a castle town there the whole time. That i know, known I might have just gone for that instead. Well, I can sort of rectify that by heading back to my castle town and then uh, turning back and going that direction instead. That could be good. Portal to Equinox. Yeah, kind of a shame that none of my uh, heroes developed uh, perfectly. Just, or, or let me rephrase: the heroes that are like that have like a bunch of secondary skills don't have enough stats or levels for them to be expert level, or or enough spell points to use them, right? But then, like like this hero, for example, has all the right secondary skills, just not. Uh, not the right stats. But then the other heroes are... Uh, the other heroes, like, have good stats, but their secondaries are a little jumbled up. Alright, sweet. Uh, finally got some town portal. Uh, no spell points either, so I'm gonna need to hang out here and try to do some stuff about that, but... Well, actually, oh, I'm just short one spell point. That's too bad. All right. Uh, yeah, this hero is good on spell points. I can actually... Oh, there's a hero out there. I don't know which hero that would be, but... Oh, there's a Melchior, the Diplomacy Specialist. Alright, I'm starting to load up on heroes here. Okay, so <clears throat> the other unit that I haven't had a chance to mess around with yet because I haven't had enough gold, or the Dreadnoughts, so I probably need to start fit. See, that's another interesting thing too, like, these guys are indeed quite strong for pushing the map, but I don't have any army that would allow me to take out the Dragon Utopias very easily. Uh, that's, that's been a bit of a bother. Like, what I could do, actually, is I could go mass armadillos and then cast shield and then start rezzing them. That would allow me to kind of clear out these fights with very few losses, if any losses, because right now, like, it's either that or the Kuatles. What are their stats now, actually? They're not super OP yet. Wait, pink is strongest? With Titans. Alright, I mean, I haven't bought out all my units and whatnot yet, so... Okay. <clears throat> Bertram. First things first. Let's move Bertram. Oh, yes, advanced wisdom. All right. Uh, yeah, now that he has that, I can actually teach all fours to every hero. That should 
again, that should make things quite a bit easier. Um, yeah, I'll pour Manzum back to Dardenter, and then, yeah, here, I kind of want to keep Melchior, so I'm going to leave him in town for a second. I don't know if we'll get a chance to use him, but, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so where were we? Right. Uh, yeah, Bertram uh, can retreat off of Liches. So these are just plain Liches, not power Liches. That's important to know because um, that means I can retreat uh, using a speed 6 unit. Just fine. Uh, yeah, Bertram can um, learn some spells, it looks like. But I think more important... Okay, I basically have to come all the way back now, but that's, again, that's fine. I can I think this is more important right now, that all my heroes can actually learn these very useful spells. All right, ah, oh, finally. Here we go. So I uh, taught some good spells here, like all fours. Um, do I... Yeah, I don't have, like, many good spells here on this hero either, so, yeah, let me go pick up some spells. Yep, that's good. I would get one free on everybody, I guess. Except this guy doesn't have earth magic, so he's gonna have a fun time there. And then I'll try and portal back to Equinox and push. That's basically the plan. And I can't dimension door yet, but again, we'll get there. I don't have spells on this hero, right? Or I don't have DD. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, this is the hero that should have DD, not the other ones. Or I can actually use this uh, army, come to think of it, just real quick to clear out some of this stuff. Mm. Just trying to figure out if I need to leave some spot for me to pour man's TP off of. But, uh... I think I'll clear these ones. Oh, what the heck. Two, three... Uh, hit this, hit this, return back to town after I... Well, I can't even reach those, but... Um, right, so... Good old Artificer doing his thing. Oh yeah, Eanswith is or Eanswith is um, checking what's down here. Okay, Chaos Hydras, cool, cool. In that case, yeah, Chaos Hydras. I can. Can I buy out the rest of these? Yes, I can. Oh, they're upgraded versions of themselves. Uh. You know what? I'll upgrade them all, I guess. Oh yeah, I can also learn some spells. That's quite useful. Uh, yeah, I'll just upgrade them. I think that's about time. Uh, Tancred, do I have any useful hero in this area? Oh, actually, I have this hero. If I have Mass Slow, it might be enough to... Oh, right, I remember. I'm trying to use the uh, Coatles to... Um, clear out the Nyx warriors on this side. There's, like, so much going on here. Nyx is, again, G plus U size map, and I'm actually trying to develop most of my heroes, and I'm also trying to showcase all of the units on a different hero. So, that's sort of where we're at. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, you know what? No. Uh, I gotta load from a previous battle because I, I kind of messed up. Uh, I need to buy these guys as, as unupgraded. I actually want to play around with unupgraded ones first and then I'll get them all later. One, two, three. One, two. Shoot these guys. There, and then finish them off. Same as before. Hit this, hit this. I'll return back to town in a second. Um, I think I've already picked up all the spells, right? Yes, all level fours. Uh, this hero is pushing down. That was what happened. And then I town portal the Dardenter to actually pick up all the spells. And then also to deliver to Equinox. Oh, yeah. This would... Wait a second, no. This is all wrong. Uh, I'm supposed to deliver all this because uh, this hero is supposed to head up north with all of... All of the uh, army, all the ranged units, at least. Even got an even ar uh, armor of wonder here. Well, I got a lot of stuff. Okay, let's do it. Like, well, I kind of need the spell power, honestly. Yep, I think I can hit this. Uh. Yeah, I have a lot of movement on this hero, so I, I think I'd be able to reach um, that castle town, even without... Oh yeah, I should be able to make it. I'd be very surprised if I couldn't. Alright, so that's one hero down. Um, I'm going to move this hero back into town, and we're going to use this hero to... Uh, town portal back to Clown Spire, and Try to get some stuff here. Or better yet. 5, 12, 12. No, I don't have enough. Okay. Hit these ones. Hit these ones. Okay. Uh, this should give me some gold, plus one knowledge, and I'm pretty sure I tank it if I lose one, whatever, I think, at this point. Oh, Scholar, just what I needed, except I already have somebody with Scholar, so kind of pointless now. Oh, there's more Equestrians down here, cool. Uh, treasure chest, uh, could use that for gold, I guess. And town portal back to Clown Spire at this point. Alright. Who else has Earth Magic at this point? Um, yeah, Sam. Like, okay. Uh, what's Sam up to? I need Sam to get some stats, and then I'll probably try to bring her back. Um, yeah, I'll try to get her... Uh, bring her back so that she can learn all fours, including Town Portal. Yeah, this yeah, this is like a perfect uh, hero right here. It's got like Diplo, Wisdom, Earth, Air, Logistics. And I don't know what else I'd want as my last skill, to tell you the truth. Could be anything, really. Uh, Tancred, I don't really care much for Tancred. Uh, at least not at the moment. Two bo boxes, yeah, that's going to be for the other hero next turn. Uh, again, I'm just low on spell points, unfortunately. If I had even a little bit more spell points, I could, could have made some big plays, but unfortunately that's not the case here. Uh, do I have anybody else who can do something? Again, this hero doesn't have earth magic either. Unbelievable. This is actually so annoying. kind of wonder if I had to actually just use one hero, or like, two or three heroes like I usually play if this would have gone much much quicker it probably would have but what fun would that be um actually you know what 
I just realized. I have the coatals, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go like this. I think this hero could probably pull this off because he's got... Wait, I don't have the... Oh, shoot. Okay, I'd have to go on foot for this. But I only have Frenzy. you got to be kidding me, man. I wonder if his frenzy even works on on the machines. I'm I'm guessing not, like they're machines, so they should be immune to mind spells by default. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't have so I have blind. I can blind stuff, I guess. And I got resurrection, but Um okay. Well, Try to figure out which stack I'm supposed to send at them. Uh, yeah, maybe like this. This hero goes, and then this hero is just chilling here. This hero and this hero are chilling here. And yeah, I'm basically just waiting for Victoria to show up. And then Victoria is gonna do some stuff. Ah, <sighs> what an annoying turn! But we're getting there. We're gonna start to clear out the AI, and it's gonna be glorious. Okay, so purple captured that neutral town. I can go in next. Oh, and there's teal. All right. Well, I'm glad I don't have anybody close to that portal. Uh, Rissa. Okay. Alright. This is actually their strongest hero. She probably got some stats, too. She need to have a uh, good hero that can handle it, and we should be good to go. Okay. Well, this guy will be the first one to do stuff. Uh... Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Um, speed sevens. <laughs> I can landmine. My landmine on this hero is better than my landmine on the uh, specialist. That's the that's the funniest thing. It also places eight landmines. All right. Well, great. Let's see what we can do with this. Well, I mean that. Did something, I suppose. Uh, okay. I could. I'm just trying to see, like, is there anywhere I could go that would prevent them from hitting, uh, all hitting me at once? But blind these guys, I guess. Hope for the best that these guys aren't able to kill one. All right. one of the ones that got hit? Apparently not. Okay, well, this stack alone is not enough, and I should have just used the hero who had uh, earth magic, I guess. You know what? You know what? Forget this. Like, ugh, man. Like, I don't know, dude. Uh, blind wouldn't work, right? I, I can't blind. I can't do anything. Like, I'm, I have the wrong hero here. Like, I don't want to lose any of these sandworms because I wanted to make, like, a proper power stack with them. Kind of a lame excuse, but I'll probably just load from autosave. Like, this is, like, the first hero that I moved this turn to, right? So, um... 
Load from autosave. And... Yeah, maybe I won't send this hero out with my tier 5s. My sandworms. My poor sandworms. Uh, I might send this... Okay, you know what? Let me move this one first. I feel like this would be easier to work with. I have uh, Spellbinder's hat here. Uh, yeah, Spellbinder's hat. So I should be able to, you know, go over here and then clear this, at least. And Oh, yeah, Expert Earth. Very nice. Still no Expert Wisdom. We're getting to that point, but well, we'll, we'll get there sooner or later. Uh, Astral and Clavius. Okay, and some sandworms guarding a pog in their portal of glory there. Oh, they built me a mage guild. How generous of them. Now I can maybe bring some of my other heroes to uh, tussle with these guys. I just don't know which ones yet. Um, Probably this one, TBH. I... Celestine the Artificer. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Town Portal back to... Uh... I wonder if this will work. A town portal to cast the Lotus directly. Let's see if this by itself will be enough to take these guys on all at the same time. Oh, uh, what do we got? Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. And a bunch of one stack halflings, of course. Um. Well, I mean, again, I have Armageddon, so I should probably just do it like this. Uh, wait a second. Definitely Tavern this round. Uh, wait a second. He actually has some somewhat fast units, so I'm going to hit this real quick. The enemy's fled. No, forget that. Um, skip a turn to get temporary invulnerability, and then... Wait, 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 wait. And now I can just do the thing, right? There it is. Boom! Arm again. Yeah, well, that was easy. Uh, and then I can actually fight the next one uh, just a couple steps over. And I'm just going to repeat the exact same process. Don't I have... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Yes. I got a job for you. Go to Castellatus. Give me all of these guys. And then transfer them over. Shaman's Puppet, why not? Oh yeah. Perfect. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Come on, Astral. You got this. Nope. Nope. Uh, again, simple. Same as before. Skip a turn. You got Mass Haste. Wow, that was pretty insane. But you know what? I have a response for that. And that is going to be Armageddon, except these guys are going to live. Um... Yeah. Armageddon! I'll do it anyway. What? He... Takes a defensive stance? Why? Oh, right! Because these guys were invulnerable! They were invulnerable, so they can't actually hit my coattles <laughs> until my coattles get their turn. Alright, well that actually works out very nicely in my favor. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to haste. I think that I can't kill them in one go. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't retreat here and now, but you know what? Sure, I'll, uh... Well, he took a defensive stance, right? So, just to be on the safe side, in case he, like, for some reason, resistance is in play, which it really shouldn't be. But, just in case, I will fly in and I'll bless rather than casting a spell. This will also save me some spell points too. Alright, cool. Well, that was easy. I managed to wipe out his army just, just like that, you know. Uh, good old Coatles just doing their thing. Alright. Now a chance to showcase those. Now, what I want to know is what their upgraded 
counterpart looks like. I think that I've used these enough that I can safely say that I've uh, demonstrated them nice, nice and easy. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, this will be next. I kind of want to start developing my next warrior. I don't have enough movement on this hero, but who cares? Level 10? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to just bring everybody here. Like This is like free spell points at this point. Uh, who else can I bring along here. Yeah, you know what? Um, yeah, again, my bad. I'm just uh, going to go back to Clown Spire. I know that this is a kind of a waste of... I basically just wasted a bunch of time like moving this hero, but... Retreat, yes, flees from battle, and let's actually... Indeed, I'd like to pick up a bunch of spells here. There we go. Alright. Buy one, get one free. Um, and fl I got fly off of that too. Who else do I have? Victoria? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Okay, I mean, I've taught everything to most of my heroes except for. Well, yeah, I've taught almost everything, really. Okay, this hero can chill here for a bit. I'm going to uh, chain to this hero. I can finally get the right hero to the right position with the right spells. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and I also have mass slow, too, so I can finally cap this entire area and yeah, do some stuff with it. Uh, and what's Sam got? Oh yeah, Teal is hovering around my area too. Um, we got this for now. This is a free level up. Do I care for that? Yeah, free level up is actually quite handy here, but yeah, that's fine. Sure. Oh, Interference. Interference could be good, but again, am I really sold on that? Interference. Ah, no. Nah. I, I feel like even as with as much spell power as they could muster, they would not be able to stop me. No matter what. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna just chill. Oh, you know what? I'm where I'm gonna go. I'm actually, gonna head out. Speed eights. Oh yeah, these got. Uh, this is a mechanic specialist. All right. Well, this is perfect then. Retreat. Yes, I wish to flee from battle. And I'm going to bring my hero back here to refill some spell points. Good. Uh, well, not quite able to do that just yet, but I will. Soon. Okay, well, can't really view anything else it looks like, so... I just run back to town here, and yeah, I mean, I'm just chilling now. I'm still genuinely upset that my landmines do so little damage. That my landmine specialist does less damage with her landmines than a hero that has expert fire magic. They should have just done the uh, double, like, landmines do double damage, and or they should have had her start off with fire magic. In my honest opinion, that probably would have been the best option. But anyway, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I'm just salty that I don't get to mess around with... Well, yeah, I don't get to mess around with cool spells and, and whatnot. Uh, stables, blacksmith, okay. Yeah, definitely need to start building up towards stables. That would be, uh, the next course of action. Oh yeah, this hero has some pretty good spells. 
Uh, Bertram also looking pretty good here. There you go. Learned some very useful spells. I think Rathmon got all the spells too, right? Yeah, they just don't have... Uh, Yeah, I just need a place to poor man's. Probably out uh, here. Castellatus. Castellatus with just a bunch of uh, these guys should be enough to hold this town down at this point. I'm going to do it. Retreat, yes. Uh, the Artificer, I'm bringing them back here. Uh, I'm going to give them the Armadillos too. I, I know I have an Armadillo Specialist. I think it's, it's not this one. Where's my armadillo specialist? Oh yeah, Celestine. Where's Celestine? Oh okay, no, Celestine's over here. Uh, picking stuff up. Get to level her a bit. Next warriors too. <clears throat> Actually, wait, what am I doing? This hero can also get that, uh, this Library of Enlightenment. That would be very useful. But you know what? I actually did eliminate his hero, so I'm actually going to make a beeline for it. See how far we get. What the heck? This is a dead end? That's really bizarre. So then where did they come from? Oh, okay. No, they came through, uh, from over here. <coughs> Yeah, I'll probably chase them down with one of at least one of my heroes. Um, the one with the armadillos. Like, if I have armadillos in resurrection, I think that they can hold their own quite nicely. So, that's probably what's going to end up happening. I might just uh, bring this guy back, and then I'll send another hero down that way. Probably, Winona will just come back beginning of next week. All right. Where were we? Coetel. Uh, Celestine... Right, so... Okay, I can't tell these hero portraits apart from each other. I can also put these on now. I just realized I got like a boatload of artifacts. Well, okay, maybe not that many, but... It's a pretty decent number of artifacts. Um... Easy enough. Like, free XP. Uh, so Churchyard is just... In case uh, people don't know, because I'm treating this as if people actually know how Horn of the Abyss works. Um, because a lot of the people who have watched my videos have played Horn of the Abyss, which I actually do prefer the... Uh, I don't know if I've ever really talked about this, uh, even in my past Horn of the Abyss playthroughs uh, on this channel, but I do still prefer the base game at the end of the day. Uh, like, it's the original, I, you know, that's the uh, version of the game I'm most familiar with, and um, I don't agree with all of the changes that Horn of the Abyss made, but, again, this is kind of, uh, you know, they've done some pretty interesting work with the game, so that's one of the reasons why I do opt to play it. Anyway, so, yeah, these are Bellwether Armadillos. Uh, I can probably buy out the rest of these now. Town portal to Castellatus. And yeah, I just have uh, halfling grenadiers, so. I don't even need that many, just three. And now Celestine, with uh, all the spells that she has, uh, I can grab these real quick, and yeah, Walt's over here, 
do not apply battle results. I will uh, skip a turn to get temporary invulnerability and do the thing. Army got him. Oh, wow. He actually survived that. I still have res, though, so I should be okay. Uh, yeah, I have two casts of res. Well, I have two casts of res, but I'm aiming for just one. <laughs> yeah, you would get morale, wouldn't you? Ow. We will manage to kill one here, but that is what res is for. And there we go. Alright, so here are some free stats and disguise. Uh yeah, I mean I need I did what I needed to here. Um I'll basically get all my heroes to pick up the Library of Enlightenment. That'll uh, hyper buff them. Or giga buff them, however you want to look at it. Um, and then Victoria has some fights to take too, actually. And with that in mind, Tancred will... I'm actually kind of curious to see if I'd be able to win this fight with uh, Victoria. Because the thing is, like, Nyx Warriors are incredibly painful to deal with. Like, I can slow, and then uh, they ignore 60% of defense skills, so, or attack skills, sorry. So, I, well, I'm going to have a hard time with them. And again, I, I'm actually probably better off spamming Inferno over Armageddon. And it even costs less, too, which is crazy. Wait a second. I could clone these guys. Yeah, this could be pretty legit, actually. What other spells do I have? Meteor Shower? Meteor Shower, three of them. Hold on, I want to try something. I have all fours, right? Okay, let's see if this works. I might actually just face tank them. Yeah, I'm just gonna face tank him and see how far, how far I get. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I can't attack from this angle, or else I get uh, owned by. Um, I'm gonna own myself with the uh, breath attack. Okay. Uh, here's what I can do. I can attack here. I kind of want to teleport these guys out, but that costs a lot of spell points. Yeah, see, they are so painful to deal with. Ow. Do I have haste? No, I don't. Or I haven't casted haste. Alright, I want to see if this works the way I will expect it to. Okay, so obviously they're dead now, right? Ah, oh, they got morale. But still, I can kind of try this out. Okay, can I clone and bring them back? Oh, no way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right, and, um, yeah, yeah, that's perfectly fair and balanced, and I have, yeah, expert res, too, so I could totally just, um, bring my guys back if I need to. Well, then, yeah, that's looking mighty fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Hit these guys from this direction. Let me back up real quick. Let's see these guys. <clears throat> Quite painful. 
the fact that all of them are hitting me at once. Alright, good. Again, breath attack uh, comes in quite handy here because I can just do this and sl uh, slow war off, but I can do it again. Wow, that was really uh, 10 turns, huh? Again, I can... It feels so clunky to use breath attack on two hexes, but I mean, uh, doing it on like, with these units, when... Like, these are one hex breath attack units, so it makes it so much easier. Like, look at this. Boom! And then I'll just flee back here. And then I'll attack. Well, actually, I'll just hit these guys. And then I'll wait, and I'll wait. Uh, and then I can res my guys. I can repair these guys. I can finish these guys off. Boom. And I lost 106, but that's because uh, that's what I cloned. So, yeah, honestly, there were far... There were much easier ways uh, to do that battle, which didn't involve using so many spell points, but I, I wanted to actually see if clone works in that fight. So, yeah, I got my answer. That was... That was, uh, interesting. Alright, let's get that teapot. And it's the only artifact on this hero now. Um... I feel like I could take this fight next. Yes. Yes, I can. And then I just have to go slow again. <coughs> Kind of unfortunate, really. I don't like... Like, this is one of the reasons why I didn't... Why I didn't use slow... Uh, in my... Some of my past playthroughs. It's because a lot of my fights just turn into me spamming slow over and over, you know? Okay. Uh, hit these guys. Uh, almost at the point where I need to do the thing. I just gotta make sure I don't get a lucky hit. Alright. Time to repair. And boom! The easy cat got... Oh, and I got logistics on this hero too. Still no air though. Very frustrated, to be honest. That I'm not getting... Oh, armadillos ain't that perfect. What do I get out of this? Out of this one. Sonya. Ah, useless hero. Boom. Gone. Yeah, well, that's, a, like I said, a bit frustrating. That uh, I don't have air after all this time. Or fire. I, I'm not even asking for that much. Air and fire or, like, sorcery. Yeah, why doesn't my mage hero get a freaking sorcery at the, at the bare minimum, man? Like, I just wanted my landmines to actually kick some kick some uh, wandering monster butt, and I couldn't even get it to do that. This is... Oh, man. I'm actually upset. I'm looking at uh, Victoria here. Well, that's fine. I'll use this hero to farm up the rest of the stuff here. I actually, actually, at this point, I don't even think that I needed Victoria specifically to handle any of these fights. Or any of these fights. Tankard probably could have done it because of this combination, the uh, engineers with sentinel automatons, like, okay, alright. So sounds good to me, man. <laughs> Ugh, anyway, going back to... Going back to the rest of the heroes, though. Yeah, Winona will come back to Castellatus. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna just chill here. Uh, what? It... Expert Earth, Expert or er, Advanced Earth, Advanced Air. I'm gonna probably refill spell points in. Well, I can actually go to Cloud Spire. Yeah, this is a good hero for that. I think Advanced Air, and I actually got like a boatload of pretty decent artifacts too. 
Um, Celestine. Yeah, sure. Here, take these for now, will ya? Same with this, same with this, same with this. I don't really think there's any spells in particular I need from the level 1 category. Are there? Do I have Cure? I have Cure. I got Disguise and... Uh, I'm pretty good here, uh, honestly. But this hero could use the Charm of uh, Mana. That's good. Anyway, send him back to uh, Dardenter for now. And get ready to refill my spell points. And, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Here's another pretty decent hero, Sam. And then this hero can hit the Library of Enlightenment. And uh, there's a fight against Dreadnoughts. I don't have that mention door, though. So I can't just D over and hit it. Alright. Uh, yeah. I mean... I might actually just go hit the uh, Free Trees of Knowledge. The Town Portal of Lackenshire. Sam Mechanics. Where's the... Where are the Armadillos? Uh, where's the Armadillo special? Okay, here we go. So... At this point, um, a town portal to Dordenter, and I gotta give you the armadillos. That's what it's supposed to be. So you get to have fun with your armadillos. No dimension door yet, but yeah, we'll we'll get you there. Uh, and then, what, the, what about the rest of my guys? Uh, Sam is supposed to be using. The uh, the mechanical units that Victoria has right now, so uh, we can get that going pretty soon, like next turn probably. And I'll go like that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, and then Cloudspire. Still need to have a hero on Cloudspire. That's going to be Ziff's job, finally. Now that I actually have some uh, a good amount of spell points and base stats and artifacts, I think that this will be the next course of action. Alright, look good. Everybody's uh, ready to go, finally. I'm going to pass the turn and... Ah, I've got everything sorted out, like, only seven hours into the... <laughs> <laughs> into this playthrough. Um, Alright, so uh, Victoria can go here. Uh, Tancred. Every time I see Tancred, I think of the uh, Diablo 2 set. It's the only time I ever really see uh, the term Tancred, or the word Tancred get used, but anyway. Um, Actually, I just realized something. I have enough to cast Slow in Town Portal. Uh, well, actually, I gotta open up with slow first, of course. Oh, uh oh. Okay, well, we'll slow first. I'm not gonna be able to uh, res after that, but um, yeah, who knows? Maybe we can pull some shenanigans here. Okay. I will throw these guys into the wool or to fight the wolves, all of them. I'll hit these guys. Oh, they actually get paralyzed. That's kind of annoying. Um cure maybe. Heals hit points 95. Oh yeah, like the cure itself. Uh, does it for 95, but... Wait. Dispel, uh, except for... All spells and effects except for Disrupting Rain and Poison. Okay, this works. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna take out this stack. Uh, kill this real quick. Actually, 
probably wait. Wait. Uh, hold on. I mean, yeah, I'll just... This will save me the trouble of having to dispel them, so... Oh wait, what? On Earth just happened there. What? I'm actually so confused right now. Okay, bring him back. Um, I'm gonna go up here. Okay, and then I can, like, step here. Again, I'm basically just playing with fire, because if they get morale, it's, you know, lose a chunk of my units, but... And it's a uh, risk I'm gonna have to take here. Oh. Oh. Oh, phew, okay. Uh, I think this is fine now. And then I just hit these guys. And then I hit these guys. Boom! Easy caca, no losses. And finally, it only took the entire game for them to give me fire magic, but there it is, at, at last. Uh, Pandora's box, what do we get? Fifth, or 5,000 XP. Advanced fire magic, come on. What is, uh... What is my landmine at now? 230 damage, yay! And six of them, not not four, not eight, but six. Alright, and then uh, I just need one more and I'll go... <laughs> we'll have some fun with landmines, I guess. Alright, yo, this guy's been... Kind of itching for some action for a while now. Uh, kind of want to let him uh, have that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I didn't have this guy in town, or I didn't have Celestine in town when I was supposed to. So I might have to wait an extra turn, unfortunately. That was stupid. Uh, just wasting turns on heroes for no reason. I don't like that at all, of course, but I mean, I mean, what can you do about it? when it already happens, or when it's a little too late. I mean, I could reload and then put the hero in town, but then I had to redo that whole battle. That's not worth it. Okay. Meet our Library of Enlightenment. Um, come on, Tancred. Yeah, let's get you that Titan's Cuirass. Uh, engineer, but this thing, oh yeah, that's, no, oh, that's solid. Uh, alright, and then probably want to go to Dardenter. Yeah, Town Portal to Dardenter. Yeah, she had a lot of fun there, that's for sure. Um, a lot of spell points to be picked up for sure in this area. Oh, and I can probably even go as far as upgrading this. 226 armor. Uh, bellwether armadillos. I'm actually really curious to see if this hero by itself with um, all of the strongest artif uh, combat artifacts I have would be enough to go and solo teal. Because I know that teal, uh, in order to catch teal, I'd have to go through here. Um, so that's where I'm going to send Celestine with her with her bellwether armadillos. Another thing I could do with Celestine is actually to just uh, hammer the Dragon Utopias. That, that's probably the next thing I need to do. Uh, it's kind of silly that I haven't yet cleared out any of the Dragon Utopias. Um, but I guess now that I have the uh, teapot, I don't I can't really... I don't have any more excuses. Uh, barracks, and then next turn will be uh, stables. So everybody will have to uh, swing by here. Uh, next turn. <clears throat> Wyona. I don't actually see how far I can go with this here. Like, I, I want to grab this Library of Enlightenment, but... At the same time, I kind of want to give chase, too. So, we'll see how far we get. 
uh, because it's very possible that if I chase after them right now, I might be able to make it to their... Yeah, their town is here, and I'm on 2600 movement, so we'll, we'll see how well that works. I might actually be able to reach them from this distance. Okay, yeah, this hero is definitely chilling. Uh, yeah, I just need air on her now. That would be, that would be fantastic. Yeah, this hero can have teapot, and what does this hero have? Yeah, I feel like this is enough. Uh, I can finally do the things that I wanted to do. I have the right hero. I have the right spells. Uh, we can actually go have some fun. Uh, and I have Dimension Door on this guy, too, don't I? Looks like I do. Uh, yeah, that Library of Enlightenment co really coming in handy, I have to admit. Okay, mass slow. Oh, uh, what are... That was speed four. I feel like it can go a little quicker than that, but... Uh, yeah, again, morale, or... Not, yeah, there you go, there's the morale. I can get, I was gonna say I can get morale done, but I can just, uh, use resurrection to... Um... Oh. Yeah, I can use resurrection to negate the losses. There you go. Nice to have sandworms that are able to be revived, of course. Angel Wings, and Sam, and Ainsworth, and... Okay. <clears throat> Have I town portaled to the other two uh, towns that give... that give knowledge? I don't think I have. Town portal to Cloud Spire real quick, get some extra knowledge, and also to Equinox for even more knowledge. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, now... Oh yeah, this hero was supposed to have the Spellbinder's hat and supposed to do some, some things, but I guess that's just not going to happen. Alright, well, either way, all of these heroes have picked this up, right? Just uh, need to double check, because that'll... That actually allows my heroes to come online here. Except for Winona, of course, but everybody else did. Okay, cool. I'm going to Town Portal to cast a Lotus. Yeah, mechanics. So this hero is going to... Well... Yeah, I mean, I think this is good enough for now. I'm going to pass the turn. I feel like there's, like, so much more I could have done this turn. I could have put Spellbinders out and, like, the right hero and everything, but I'm just not used to juggling so many heroes. Um, even if, well, even if it is this late into the game. Like, not many, or not this many main heroes... Oh yeah, that is a lot of movement I got here. I could probably run down. Oh, very nice. Uh, can I reach him? I think it might just be better for me to DD and take the fight against him now. I have res, right? Yeah, I do have res. Yeah, I might lose some units, but... This will at least eliminate one of the players. So this will be my ranged units trying to do the uh, this battle here. Teleport him in front and then went for the swing. All right. Well, unexpected, but what can you do about it? I guess resurrection. Okay, I have enough for two resurrections, so I'm gonna make them count. Uh, 
Yeah, well. I like how they're just teleporting the units to me, you know, like... This is sort of what I want them to do, if anything. Okay, well, no, these are the most dangerous ones, so I should deal with them first. Uh, actually, hate to admit it, but I might actually be uh, losing this. <laughs> I may have to... Um, like, I don't have enough spell power. Even if, well, or spell points for that matter. Yeah, I actually lose this fight. Uh, they will get their uh, reinforcements this week, it looks like, but... It's a bit rough, but that's yeah, kind of where we're at. Yeah, I probably should have, well, I was going to say open up with implosion, but... Um, I mean, again, I can... I probably could have just won this fight off of imploding this, and that... Like, I haven't casted any spells after my initial spell casts. Implosion would have done the trick. And then I would just be down to the Archmage, but then I wouldn't be able to res anything, and I'd want to keep my Bounty Hunters and other units, so I might uh, actually fall back here and come back later. Let me just double-check this real quick. Yeah, that's too bad. I was not expecting this to be such a difficult fight, but I'm, I don't have enough spell points to do like a good resurrection. Oh well, I can hop back over to Castle Lotus. At least I know what's uh, what to expect on this side of the map now. And yeah, what do we got here? Oh, you know what? Stables. There it is. Good. Now, Rathmont will also hit this, and... Yes, Castellatus. Good. I actually have four times DD with this here. I could probably go and just insta-hijack their town, if it comes down to it. Um... I'm just trying to think where each of my heroes should go, or and what armies they should be rocking at this point in the game. Uh, armadillos definitely belong on this hero. Armadillos, by themselves, with resurrection... I just wish I had shackles too, but... Yeah, this should be its own army. And... I mean, I'm going to clear this Dragon Utopia with them first... Oh, you know what? I got something even better. I can go to... Well, I mean, I need to go to Castellatus anyway. That was the whole point. But I'm going to take... The uh, hat from Sam. You know what? Forget maximize... Like, I'm trying to, like, min-max movement points, but this is actually so annoying. Um, I'm just going to do this. And I have, like, three DDs with this, right? So I can go, like... I can straight up, um, I'm just trying to figure out, like, like I'm going to take this fight on Celestine, that's the first thing, and the game's going to say, oh, uh, it was a mini taupe, so they were able to handle it just fine, but uh, I was expecting it to go a little less smoothly than that. Uh, defend one more time, and then uh, defend one last time, and now I can res all of them back. Wait, what? They're still... Was I, was my spell power too low to bring all of my units back in one go? Hold on a second. Uh, I'll shield first this time. <laughs> Maybe that'll make things a bit easier for me. Yeah, maybe took too many hits. 
There, there you go. Okay, res. Okay, that does the trick. Uh, expert air. All right, I can DD now four times per turn. Um, so I got that out of the way. I can then move to Lackenshire and then put this on. And Dimension Door right over here. Has to fly, walk two steps. Cast slow. Wait, oh, I don't have mass slow, but I don't think that matters too much. I'm just gonna go in and res probably. Or yeah, I'm gonna What am I doing? I should just res. It's of course gonna be res. Why am I why am I even bothering with useless spell cast like haste right now? I'm gonna hit these guys and then res of course. And swing, okay. Uh, and then step up here. Um, do I have... Oh, shoot. I actually miscalculated. I don't have enough for Town Portal. Unless I level off of this fight. Which is actually a possibility, but... I don't think they're going to give it to me. Yeah. Because I actually need 300 movement points. My intention was to make it back. But I'll have to uh, improvise and... Uh, probably DD back like, close by to the town that I wanted to be at. Um. Okay, cool, good. Oh, I actually lost three. Hm. Alright, well, that's fine. And they did indeed give me logistics. Oh, yeah. And then this... take me as close back to Lackenshire as possible. Right oh, so yeah, I can get the uh, units back here from Celestine. Or not the units, but all uh nah, she gets to keep most of these, I think. Just not spellbinders. What else can I uh, do here. Yeah, I'll give her these artifacts, I guess, to work with. I feel like that by itself would be enough. Cape of Silence. Can't cast level 1s or 2s. Um, is that what I want to have happen? I feel like that's okay. Or to not have it. Yeah. Alright, so Celestine's gonna go have some fun. Uh, I need to bring a hero to that town, and then... Oh yeah, Victoria. Here's another hero who has stuff that needs to be done. I have 64.8, or 64.9k now, so I think at this point uh, I can finally start, uh, you know, doing the remaining... Or buying out the remaining units. Oh, shoot. Uh, I actually upgraded these guys, but you know what? At this point, I think I got to demonstrate the power of the Olgoi Korkois. Um, I mean, I know that I'm, I'm spamming it with... Uh, resur or I'm using Resurrection mostly, but still. Um, you guys can kind of see the power. Well, I mean, even if I... Well, it's either Resurrection or Slow for the most part, but... Even if I didn't have these, these guys would still be, you know, pretty decent, I, I suppose. Ugh, wait, what am I doing? Why don't I just open up with slow? Oh yeah, because of the magic elementals, that's what it was. Yeah, there you go. Expert offense, still no air magic. Been waiting for that for some time, of course, but they absolutely refuse to give it to me for some reason. Uh, I'm going to Dimension Door here real quick. You know, it's like a very short DD, but the game is going to say that I'm I'm no bueno. And what's my spell power? Can I, like, landmine them? Like, I can use landmines to kill one each, but it's still not enough, you know. 
Uh, and again, like, I'm legitimately better off just doing this. Boom. And then casting again. And then again. I mean, I could have done this fight on Resurrection. And I would have saved a lot of spell points, but I also kind of want to vary up my fights and not win off of just Resurrection on every single fight. Dude, they can't give me water and they can't give me air on this Artificer. Like, I swear, dude, where where is my air magic? Like, bro, no intelligence either. Oh, fi <laughs> finally. Okay, cool, great. Uh, Ainsworth can head over this way and actually start exploring what's down here. There's more uh, Pandora's boxes on this side, so I'm definitely going to be sending my main there pretty soon. <clears throat> but for the time being, i got to go back to Casaladas because I need... I need some... Uh... Well, yeah, I need them sandworms. Or I need the uh, stables, rather. Oh yeah, this probably belongs on you. Along with this, and along with this. That would probably be great. Okay, what's Sam got? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I Well, there's a taupe down here too. I can probably let one of the others handle that, but for the time being I'm also going to go here. I'm going to town portal the Dardenter with my extra armadillos. And cool. We're in a pretty good spot here. Uh okay, so Victoria will be next. Uh where can we go with like, honestly, oh, right, Winona should have the uh, Spellbinders hat, and I should just be able to take Winona, go over here, grab the Library of Enlightenment, and then you start pushing towards uh, purple, because she actually has logistics, she can reach them in two turns, and that's the right hero for that job. But, um... Yeah, who has the thing now? Is it this hero? No. Where's my... Oh, right. Henrietta. Alright. Town portal to Lackenshire. I gotta grab all this. Uh, gotta get rid of that real quick. Throng of Steel Golems. I think that I should go clear that out. I mean, I'm already here. Oh, steel golems. Bounty hunters. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. I'll take the fight on this. I don't have dimension door. Oh, yeah, right, because it's on Spellbinder's hat. That's fine. I get to save some spell points this way. Okay, well, here we go. Yeah, I don't know. This uh, combination seems pretty... Uh, I want to say pretty broken, but... Makes me wonder, like, <laughs> kind of reminds me of, like Vampire Lords or Necropolis Vampire Lords, where you can just, you know, with Vampire Lords, you can just have them as a one man army and call it a day, you know? 
Okay, well, res them, and then hit them, and then hit them. Expert fire, very nice. What do we get out of this? Ambassador's sash, lovely. Um, yeah, this could be useful. So I'll pick that up. Go out of the dragon. Uh, sure. I kind of want to save the rest of my... Okay, mirth. Yeah, I kind of want to save the rest of my um, gold, though. Since there's going to be other fights up ahead. Or other things to buy in a little bit. Yes, I could use this. Uh, okay. I'll just do this real quick. Bring them back and then finish them off. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Uh, yes. Uh, phooey. Slow, I guess. Swing at these guys. Swing at them. Swing at them. And swing at them. Booyah! Alright. Town portal, Lackenshire. I'm gonna pick up my army here. All of them. And then I'll get to town portal over to Castellatus, which is actually covered by somebody. That's Wyona. Okay, cool. Nice little stables bonus here. Um, okay, uh, next thing or next things to try out are the upgraded tier five, the upgraded tier six, and the upgraded tier seven. So I'm gonna get Ziff next turn to head back and upgrade all my sandworms into Algoy Corkoys. Um, meanwhile. I have the Sentinel Automatons. Not Wrath of the Witch Hero. This is the Landmine Specialist Mechanics. Yeah, this is the hero. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm going to take these guys, so the Sentinel Automatons and the uh, Engineers, and then bring them in as just a uh, one-man army. Um, I will take these back. But yeah, this hero is looking pretty legit with this uh, setup here. Uh, I believe that you need these stats, though. These would probably be helpful for you. Or would they? I just need like a bit of spell power on him, honestly. Because, uh, in case I need to, like, cast res to bring back my engineers or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the, uh, armadillos should get, um, should get the teapot. Sam gets just the Titan's Cuirass. Because that's all she really needs uh, to get going. Uh, having said that, oh, you know what? Let's uh, go try out my new powers on these Dreadnoughts. Ooh, Juggernauts can attack with a heat stroke instead of moving. Uh, so it's basically the same, just they're slightly stronger. So they're 23 attack, 23 defense, 40 to 50 uh, damage, 300 health, and 7 speed. They're basically worse behemoths, as far as I can tell, unless there's something really special about this heat stroke ability that they have. I'm very curious now. Can they show me why they're any good? They have opted not to attack. What the? Do like no damage to them though. I'll slow, just to make things a bit easier for myself. They can't get morale either, can they? Yeah, it doesn't look like they can. All right. Well, I'm gonna bring these. 
these guys back real quick. Uh... Okay, they're done. I'm gonna step back here. I could have actually probably done the uh, breath attack with this, but... Oh well. They're surprisingly fast. These guys, hit them, <clears throat> and then we're down to the last stack, so it should be pretty straightforward from here. Hit them, and then finish them off. Okay. Well, I didn't really see any of this heat stroke that they sp uh, speak of, so <clears throat> I'm still not quite sure what that ability is supposed to be for. 10,000 XP. Advanced logistics. No archery. But that's fine, I don't need that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm closing in on what I need to get, so. Oh, speaking of what I need to get, I also need to do this real quick and attempt uh, to reroll Fly for Dimension Door. Oh my goodness, it's Dimension Door. Alright, well. I think uh, we are going to be approaching the end game uh, in just a couple moments. I just need to... Does this hero have Dimension Door? She has Dimension Door, but that's because I have a Spellbinder's hat. Alright, well... Yeah, um... Okay, everybody's going to be going back for Dimension Door, I guess. It's like Wild Goose Chase the whole game. Um, except for maybe Winona. Yeah, I'll bring Winona back a little later. Actually, I'll do it now. Otherwise I'll forget. I know myself. I know I'll forget if I don't. Who is this, Rathmint? Yeah, we'll leave Rathmint in town here. Who has the armadillos? Celestine. Okay. Fine. We'll wait another turn then. I'll just bring everybody back to this place. Too many heroes to, to manage, but at this point I, I think I am almost ready. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, these two heroes got the right spell now. Oh. Wrong one. Top portal to Dardenter. Okay, you can upgrade these guys. Nice, nice. Oh, and one other thing. I think that this hero has... Uh, oh, no. This hero is, like, out of movement. Alright. Yeah, all my heroes will get a chance to do something next turn, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to have an army of armadillos, we're going to have the mechanical units, we're going to have the coatals on one side, possibly upgraded, and then we're going to have uh, possibly just juggernauts by themselves. Um, yeah, I mean, we've, we see what they or what they can do in the previous fight. They don't seem all that impressive, except for this heat stroke ability, I just need to test that out and we're good. And also the crimson... Uh, I gotta upgrade these guys, the Crimson Coatles, uh, now that I have everything that I need, essentially. Okay, this guy got all errors, so, I mean, he got, he learned everything he needed. He got everything he needed. Um, Victoria. Okay, this hero needs to go back. And... This hero is going to be rocking. I'll tell you the truth. I feel like this by itself is enough to handle whatever I need. And I have Dimension Door now, so that's... Uh... Wait a second, do I not... Oh, I don't have Dimension Door yet because... 
Okay, this hero needs the Spellbinder's hat then, because I don't have uh, Expert Wisdom on her, so kind of a pointless to have moved her here. Town Portal to Castellatus. I will Dimension Door here real quick to grab these extra stats. Town Portal back to Castellatus, and then we're going to make a break for it. I think that's all of them, right? All of the ranged units? Okay. Uh, I hope that... Okay, yeah, I might be able to go and hijack it uh, within a couple turns. Okay, that's where Riona is headed. Finally, we have one hero out. Uh, yeah, so Sam will town portal back to Dardenter and actually learn... Oh, I, I keep forgetting to check if they have... Um, if they actually have expert wisdom or whatever. But that's... Sort of okay, I guess. Okay, this hero definitely has expert wisdom. She can learn the thing that I'm trying to teach her. Uh, but I will take this time to... Yeah, no. I'm going to go back to town and uh, grab the spells from Dardenter. Town portal, Nardenter. Uh, gonna grab the extra armadillos. I forget where these came from. Okay, so we learned these useful spells. And then town portal back to Lackenshire. I'm running low on spell points, of course. That's if not for that. Would have been this all would have been much easier. a uh, factory hero, so I don't care. Rip Sandro. Um, I could probably hit this and then come back. I already cleared the Naga Bank. Okay, uh, so that's going to be the Armadillo hero. I just want to go grab the Ring of the Wayfarer and then maybe get her to go out and do stuff. Is kind of my plan. She has TPDD now, so she's fine. Uh, how about... Uh, so that's for that hero. I still need hero to chase after Teal, and I might go and do that with Ziff. Or possibly even Rathmint might might be able to handle that himself, now that I think about it. Yeah, I mean, this guy, well, only problem with this hero is he doesn't have enough spell points to just spam DD over and over. At this point, I might even be able to visit it, visit it. I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to pull the Lackenshar, and I'm going to try to level this hero. I think that's what I'm going to do. Null automatons. Oh wow, they would have won straight up. These guys still hurt. Okay, well, I'll just brawl them the old-fashioned way then. Uh, yeah. Resurrection for every fight. And res. Easy Katka. And what is this? Um, yeah, sure. Let's just hit this. Ten gems done. Advanced air, so that gives me three DDs. 10,000 XP, very nice. I was done to do in the other order, but I figured it might, well, yeah, I was being lazy about it. Uh, where does this portal take me to again? I think it takes me down here, right? Yeah, it uh, takes me over there, so uh, at this point, where does this one go? Alright, I'm town portal to Lackenshire. Well, actually, I don't need to have a hero there. 
Maybe I'll head down this subterranean gate. Or, actually... Do I have enough crystals yet? I feel like... Ugh, man. I'm, like, short on crystals for some reason. Uh... Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head up here and clear this. Or better yet, I could actually head down here and, uh... Temple of the Lackenshire and go down here and hit this as well. Similar to what I'm doing with this hero. Uh, Ziff... Skips a turn to get temporary invulnerability. I think that I've... Oh, you know what? I have Dimension Door. I can Dimension Door down to this one. Clear this fight and get some crystals. And then hit this. Uh, clear Clops. I feel like this would be enough to handle it by themselves. Oh yeah. They don't hit particularly hard. There's not like any special abilities that these Kuatls have that allow like it's not like Grey Bears like I've mentioned before that have they can ignore target defense, so they hit like a truck no matter what. Um can't DD, right? Expert wisdom. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's it's over. It is actually so over. Uh, Dardenter. Okay, finally, I got Wisdom. Uh, and I have, well, have everything I need. Now I just need a direction to go into. Uh, I think I could probably go th this way. Yeah, this direction. Can't borrow the Equinox. And, uh, this hero will start going at, uh, out pretty soon. Um, and Bertram's hanging out here. Ah, yes, I can probably upgrade these guys now, too. Um, yeah, this sort of works out. I've got, oh, finally, I have expert landmine on this hero. No sorcery, but, uh, and, well, I don't have, like, Titan's Curas, but... Yeah, 310 damage landmines. Didn't really scale very well to this point in the game, I mean... Uh... Yeah, a bit late for 310 damage landmines. This hero should straight up just start with fire magic. I don't know how else to, to put it. Otherwise, this hero's stats are a bit irrelevant, in my opinion. But, anyway. Maybe I'll have some fun and try to go clear all this out. I think that would be the next course of action. Town portal to Lackenshire. And I'm going to just uh, head out and do stuff. Oh, what is this? Tome of Fire. No. Uh, yes, because I can just res. Can I... I don't even have... Um, I forget what it's called. Oh, wow. The Oh, of course. Fine. I'll res for the one unit that I lost. Advanced Logi. Again, I need air. Like... Useless. Oh, who is this again? Henrietta? Okay, I'm out of movement. Um, alright. Well, I can DD over. Uh, okay. Well, this is interesting. What is this? So, Devour's Corpses for additional strikes. Devour Corpses. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Um, finish. Oh. Right. Devour Corpse? Okay. The. Okay, wait a second, let me just read that real quick. Uh, Olgoi Korkoi Devour Corpse and gain an additional attack. And I can attack two times on this. Okay, interesting, interesting. Boom. Actually, I, I need to slow it down because I actually can't really tell. Oh, yeah, here we go. Attack count two. Um, move. Okay, great. So... Devour three corpses? 
Can I attack three times? Devour three corpses and gain additional attacks. So I can attack this four times, is what it sounds like. Okay, well. Attack count four. So I hit them four times. It's kind of nutty to me. Okay, I might have messed this battle up. I'm going to lose some Corkoys if I don't. But here, hold on. I'm going to redo this because I actually want to see the uh, four attacks. Like, that, that's crazy. <laughs> like, I can devour corpses for, like, additional hits. Like, what? Okay. So, there's, like, so many questions I have right now. Um... So okay, now I have two dead corpses or two corpses here. Does this mean like if I devour? Okay, so if I devour, give me a second here. All right, let's say I meteor. Sh okay, these guys are still alive. I can devour a corpse. I can devour a corpse here. Um, if I devour this corpse, does it doesn't devour that corpse too, right? Yeah, so it's all of the corpses on one specific tile. So what you're telling me is, if I go in, if I kill all of the uh, green dragons, uh, if I kill green dragon, let's say like here, I kill this stack. These guys will hit. All right, so they're staying away from the stack of green dragons. Really just trying to... Uh, there you go. Okay. So now they've stacked up here. I'm just gonna hit this real quick. Okay. I think I've got it. I'll probably end my turn. Uh, in town anyway, so. Now, I just need to devour three corpses, and then I get to attack, like, what, f gain additional attacks. So, darn. Like, I can't actually test it very well here, but what's supposed to happen, oh, attack count four. So I attack four times, is, is that how it works? Um, you know what? Give me a second. One last attempt. I'll make sure I do this right. Can I... Zerk some of these guys? Or something? Oh, I keep forgetting. Um, I'm gonna... Just let these guys take a bit of a beating. Or I'll, I'll put them in the corner. Yeah. Let's let them, uh, put them in the corner real quick. And then that way, well, as the bodies pile up in the corner, I can actually devour them when I uh, think it's time to do it. Okay, that's one body. So they're going to start stacking up on that spot. Okay. There we go. That's a lot of bodies. Now I'm going to uh, meteor shower these two stacks. And then I can go here and devour three corpses. Okay, since I've devoured three corpses... Um, does this now mean I get to hit three times? One, two, three. Wow, okay. It looks like I actually do get to attack three times. And then depending on, like, I've eaten two corpses, or I ate three corpses, I hit twice, so I still have an extra attack available, it looks like. So I'll hit, they're going to retaliate, and then uh, I hit again. Wow, alright, cool. Okay, I'll actually do this fight normally then. Uh, but now we know. Uh, Olgoi Korkoi. So the upgrade is huge. Minnow, in comparison to the Minnow Kings, this is like... This is like nothing. Man. Uh, or sorry, in comparison to the Minnow Kings, like these guys have the potential to do like a boatload of damage. But, of course, you need to... Be very careful with how you do it. Um... Like, what I mean by that is... I'm just gonna res twice. Like, uh, if 
for example, you're going up against them, and you have uh, some one stacks, then they can devour one stacks, I guess, and then they can just hit your units uh, with... Well, yeah, they can probably just hit your units after... De or they can hit multiple times if they devour your one stacks. But if, you know, you're going up against one massive stack, just one big fat stack of AAs, that, uh, like Archangels or something, then, yeah, it's not particularly a useful ability at that point. It's kind of how I'm uh, seeing this right now. So, uh, just my t initial impressions here, but it's kind of what I'm thinking, at least. Uh, do I even have... Okay, I kind of need more of these, I think. Oh man, 12,000? Elixirs? I don't need any of these, actually. Like, I could build Elixir for fun, but I, mean, I have res... Well, actually, who knows? Maybe Kuatles with this thing could be kind of cool. That's like 12.5k. I don't think that's worth it right now. I'll down portal back to Lackenshire and refill my spell points. Alright, so definitely this is a big upgrade for tier 5s. Um, I just want to take a moment to point out as well. Like, I just noticed that tier f 2, tier 4, tier 5, uh, maybe not tier 6... Uh, and tier, well, at least one tier 7. I haven't used Dreadnoughts at all, so I don't know. Uh, I used, like, the special ability, like the G key, for their units. Um, yeah, most of the other factions refrain from, well, pretty much all the other factions don't allow you to, to really do some, uh, have, like, these crazy weird abilities with, um, with, well, with the G key. Like in the like, think about in the base game, right? Like, what are the special abilities? You have like ogre magi, like bloodlust, for example. You target a unit with it. You mouse over them. You cast a spell, um, and then you click, and then it casts the spell. Same thing with master genies. Same thing with fairy dragons. In Hoda, they changed certain units like magogs and liches so they can like target a specific hex. Um, or harpy hags can strike and stay, but they didn't ever do anything uh, where you specifically need well H hold on engineers sentinel automatons yeah like it's so weird that sentinel automatons and olgoi corkoys can just like oh you press a button and then uh it's a special ability that allows you to do some well i, I don't know how to word it in a way that makes sense maybe because i've been doing this, or like commentating for the last like seven and a half hours that I'm kind of <laughs> uh, exhausted here. But yeah, Sentinel Automatons and like Olgoi Korkois, like the way their abilities work just don't really match up to what any other previous units do. At least with Engineers, they, they're they basically using Animate Dead slash Resurrection except for, you know, mechanical units, but... Definitely the way the Sentinel Automatons are, where they just disable their own, um, like, explosion on death, or, like, toggle it on, is, is kind of bizarre, I guess. Yeah, like, I'm not used to that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Although I guess you could put them those into the base game by just clicking on the, well, for Sentinel Automatons, by just clicking on the unit itself, or Olgoi Korkois by clicking on a corpse. I guess that would do it, but... And Engineers by clicking on one of your own, uh, your own units, but yeah, I don't know. It's just so weird having a faction with so many special uh, effects, I guess, is the thing that throws me off the most. That's mainly it. Okay, uh, everybody's just hanging out here now. I don't... Well, yeah, this hero should probably get back to my main town, uh, Dardenter. And at this point, I have enough for the Serpentarium, so we can get Crimson Quetels, and that is the last unit that I have yet to mess around with. Oh! 
Oh, gets temporary invulnerability without skipping a turn. What? Skips a turn to get temporary invulnerability. Gets temporary invulnerability without skipping a turn? And these guys are 200 HP, so they are on par with uh, Arch Devils. Yeah, these guys have like very similar stats to Arch Devils. Well, at least health-wise. But their damage is significantly lower. Their speed is much uh, is like you know speed 15 versus speed tw uh, 17s on Arch Devils. And Arch Devils are like 27, 27 on attack and defense. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, I also would like to get rid of some of these spell scrolls. I don't think I need these. Okay, let me put this on you, actually. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And why was I doing this? Oh, yeah, right. I need to upgrade these bad boys. All right, Crimson Coatles. Uh What is so special about these guys? I guess we uh, find out starting next turn. So, yeah. Wow. I don't know how long that turn took. That one felt like it took a while. But, uh, yeah, at this point, it's time to see if we can start wiping out the AI. So we have pretty much everything uh, set up. Like, I have... Um, one, two, three, four... Oh, well, this hero's decent, but... Four, five heroes. Six heroes. Yeah, this is might very well be the most I've ever had in a single uh, game of Heroes 3. Well, I mean, against, like, the AI, of course. Um, where, yeah, all of my heroes at this point in the game are uh, very decked out and whatnot. Okay, I don't know if you can make it. I might actually just go all in, like, if, uh, there's no... I'm scared he attacks me, but... Yeah, I'm kind of scared of him actually attacking me, uh, to tell you the truth. Oh, you know what? Yeah, if I grab this, I'm definitely not scared of him. Like, not even close to scared of him. Lie. Alright, sure. Well, I mean, the worst thing that he can do is... Uh, power liches. Uh, the worst thing he can do here is to... Uh... Wait a second, I don't actually have... Well... Yeah, I just can just implode him. Resurrection and implosion and blind... Just gonna blind and try to res my guys back. I think that's the main thing that I'm a little scared of that I'm not gonna be able to bring everybody back, but Okay, Sears Hut. Runes of Imminency. Uh Yeah, it's time for It's time for these guys to go do their thing. Uh they've got Cyclops King, uh Tunic or Crown of Dragon Teeth, etc. etc. Oh, you know what, actually? Uh, I'm going to let this uh, hero also try to take this. Uh, have I? Oh, I didn't grab that one. Hmm. Also, don't want to spend 10 gems for it. Oh, yeah, let me uh, set the animation speed back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, mass slow. What? Oh. I haven't uh, gotten it to max level yet. All right. Oh, wait a second. Sorry, I, I blanked out there. I'm supposed to res these guys back. Okay, here we go. So. I'll wait. And now I can resurrect. I think that's all of them. And I can just double check, and we're good. 
Okay, wow. Uh, expert intelligence. The Wayfarer. Okay, I was really hoping for some gems on that, but no such luck, unfortunately. I can sub this hero out now. Yeah, I should probably get some gems just straight up. Um, yeah, do I have marketplaces in all my towns? Not this one. Okay, ten gems. Can uh, have a little bit of fun here. Grab uh, this for this. Four forty-eight. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough. As always, I'm a hundred movement points short. I wanted to DD cap this and then return back to Lackenshire, but doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. But at least this hero has everything. Earth, air, intelligence, logistics. That's what I was looking for in the first place. Uh, this hero is on her way to clear these journals. I already have all fours, right? Like, I don't need this. I can do this fight for fun, I suppose, but... I still don't know what this heat ray attack is all about. Like, I'm really curious about that. Can I attack with a heat stroke instead of moving? Yeah. Like, I actually really do wonder. Okay. Got two of them. Okay, I'm surprised that they weren't able to reach, but... I mean, it do be like that. And also, uh, tier 7s... Er... Sorry, these... They're speed 7s, I meant to say. So, oh! Oh, what was that? Looks to me like, uh... Huh. Alright, it's like a ranged attack of some kind. And it also... Hits, like... Several units uh, with that, and it, not just one. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting that. They didn't use it in the previous fight, but I guess I didn't let them either, to be fair. Oh, not skilled enough to use it? Oh, Titan's Gladius is just down here, too. Alright, sure. Let's uh, go have some fun. Mass slow. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta really remember to take this stupid thing off. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll res all at the same time, or try to res all at the same time. Okay, there we go. What? Okay, well, that worked out. That was weird. I guess seven of them were enough to kill one of mine. Anyway, uh, Titan's Gladius is coming up. I'll take this off, finally. Um, and, yeah. Uh, can't wait to take on these Rust Dragons. Ah, <sighs> great. That's a lot of things going on. So, what now? So, uh... Celestine. Celestine. I'll have portal back to Lackenshire, same as before. And Ziff. Ah, uh, yes, good old Ziff. I think it's about time that <clears throat> I push into a different direction with Ziff. Yeah. So. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can get Ziff to clear out this Dragon Utopia. That'd be good. Uh, Town Portal to Equinox, I think it would be. Yep. And I can actually have some fun and test these uh, 
Crimson Quetels. See what happens. Nope. Oh, whoops. Hold on. That was not what I meant to do. I meant to actually attack them, or, or fight them, because I want to know what they actually do. Uh, you know what? This is good enough, too. So, if I... Tia temporary and vulnerability without skipping a turn. Okay, I think I get it. So, I can, I can still only do it once per fight. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can still only do it once per fight, but... Uh, I can be vulnerable. Take a defensive stance. Take a defensive stance? What? Hold on, I'm so confused. Alright, whatever. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so if I cast this, they become invulnerable for one turn. Oh, the ability can be used once per combat. Okay, so they write it in. So the difference is, if I do this, I'll get my turn towards the end of the round. Or better yet, I can... Oh, I make them invulnerable, and then I wait, and they can't hit me, but I can hit them. Wow, okay, interesting. So, hold on. That That's actually a pretty useful upgrade. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I still don't think that'll make a huge difference in the long run, but... Here, wait, wait a second. What? This... Oh, what? What? I'm s okay, you know what? Never mind. Uh, yes, I wish to pursue and engage. Like, I was fighting lizard warriors, I don't know what the... Okay, so they become invulnerable, and I'm going to attack. And they can't retaliate because they're still invulnerable. So they run away. Uh, I'm going to back these guys up. And... Okay, well, I kind of messed that up. So, if I get invulnerable with this one, and I wait, and I get it, become invulnerable with this one... Okay, so they both take a defensive stance... I see, and then I can get like a free hit on them. Wow, that's interesting, yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah, sorry about um, yeah, cutting myself off there earlier. I was just confused because I DD'd here. That should be where the battle save is, but then I reloaded and the battle save takes me over here for some odd reason, so I was not expecting that. Um, okay, apparently I lose a... Oh, okay, I see how I lose one. Actually, do I? Oh. Okay, I see. Interesting. So, if I wait with both, I can make this one invulnerable and then hit. And then, well, if I if I make that invulnerable, oh, okay, they still retaliate back though. That's the thing. Uh, I can't just I can't just use uh, invulnerable one stacks to draw out retaliation or anything like that. Alright. It's such weird... Well, yeah, it's just quite weird for me, I guess. Uh, all these new units, I'm not... It's fun testing out all of them, but I uh, hope you guys are not too upset with me trying out all these different uh, possibilities for what I can do with them. But, I mean, I think that's also part of what... Uh, I'm playing for in the first place. Like, testing out all these different possibilities. Alright, so now I can make them invulnerable, and then I hit these guys. Uh, I mean, it looks like a cool ability on paper, but yeah, again, like, even with the invulnerability, it's just not... I'm just not doing enough damage. Uh, like, this is almost month three. I have ten of these, and... Yeah, they just, they don't feel like they do much damage. Okay, there we go. Got some nice arties out of that. Sort of judgment, finally. Uh, I'll dimension door down here. Okay, easy. And I'll probably just TP back to this town, I guess. portal back to Equinox. Yeah. Alright. Sam, you're up. Uh, I'll give you 
let you have some fun. Boots of speed and all. Yeah. I got two DDs here, right? I don't have to run all the way around, so I think this is probably better, to be honest. Okay. And wait, what? They actually managed to kill one? That's so lame. Oh yeah, these guys are a little weak though, like in terms of uh, HP. They only have like 30 each, so I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised by the by uh, losing a few units here and there. Did I already hit this? Looks like I did, yeah. Yeah, I'll save my remaining spell points for when I get closer to the... to the gate, I guess. I'll skip. Yeah, I don't need to take these fights anymore. I actually kind of... well, I mean, I get Expert Offense and Expert Air. Um, that's... those are the two that come next. I'm scared of what happens after that, though. This is another one of those dead ends. This hero is no longer doing anything, so I kind of want to port him to one of the other towns. Ah, uh, yes, Rathmont. Um, Alright, at this point, maybe I can try out the Dreadnoughts. It's about time that somebody started using them. I'll bring this hero to... oh. I can probably poor man's off here, I guess. I've already hit this. Okay, please from battle, and then I'll bring this artificer back here. Alright, ten dreadnoughts. And then again, I'm gonna try this out. Uh, first, before I try to upgrade them to Juggernauts, and then that'll basically be all of the uh, units uh, in the game, or in like from this town, really. Uh, yeah, I have Dimension Door now, so I can go have some fun. Uh, yeah, I have to pursue and engage. Oh, speed sevens versus speed sevens. Attack with a heat stroke. Pick a target for heat stroke. I can't click them. So I guess uh, it, there's a limited range for it. Oh, okay. So I guess up to two steps away? Okay. It's like a ranged attack that goes uh, to and front. Okay, now this is definitely ability. I don't think uh, they could have really coded into SOD properly. So, yeah. So I could hit him, or I can do heat stroke and... The thing about that heat stroke, I think it does the same amount of damage as the standard hit for my Juggernaut. Uh, let me just check that again real quick. So, so if I punch them, it was like 765, and then if I heat stroke these guys, use heat stroke at target bellwether armadillos. I can also aim it well here, and then it would still hit them. So it, it shoots in a cone. It's like a cone breath. Wait, no, it's a. Yeah, it's like a cone breath attack, basically, is what it looks like. Let me just check that one more time. Uh, I'm going to put my guy here, and then attack with a heat stroke. Yeah, so here, like, look at that. That is a, uh... yeah, two hexes out in, like, whatever direction. Yeah, two hexes out in front everywhere. <laughs> Whee! All right, cool. Well, at least we got a chance to test that for ourselves. Uh, back to Dardentor we go, and I'm basically ready to get them upgraded to Juggernauts. So I won't even be able to have that as its own army, with any luck. All right. Is this? Are these all of my heroes that I have available now? Okay, yeah, Purple doesn't want to mess with my main, it looks like. But I don't know if he'll reinforce his town. It's not going to matter. Like, I have double mana from Magic Spring. So I think I'm okay here. I got a lot of movement. Oh. 
All right, I do have six spell power though, so that's a bit of a problem. That's okay. Ow. Pew. Come. Uh, just in case, I'll res now. Can I get morale? Okay, well, maybe not. Uh, okay, and then finally res these guys and shoot these guys, and the fight is done. And I can also, I mean, warning for flashbang terrain, I guess, but yeah, now I basically can hold down this town, and uh, well, yeah, now I can just hold down this town. He has his own town portal in resurrection, that's funny. My Nona. Did I ever... I think I actually did hit the uh, Library of Enlightenment, right, with this one? Yeah, my spell power is just very low, and I didn't put anything on him. Okay, well, we're going to keep going with the other heroes. Uh, I'd like these guys to flee if possible. Uh, they'll join for 10.8k. No, I don't want to pursue and engage. I don't really want to lose units for no reason. And I like how it's monks on one side, like lots of monks and lots of iron golems. I'm guessing that somebody came here earlier and died to it. Yeah, I see Tan here. Uh, I'm guessing that somebody died to that, like the iron golems. Like they tried to take, yeah, 34 of them. There's no way. There's actually no way. Um, somebody must have come here earlier, tried to fight it, and then lost. Uh, but managed to weaken the iron golems enough that... Well, yeah, they managed to weaken it to that point. Okay, 27 and 9 on stats. Not bad. Hoarded Dread Knights. I can only DD once per turn still. No air. Game be like, air is not good. Me kick, air is not good. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Mass slow. And I actually have a lot of cool things I can do here too. Like I could, at this point I can just start cloning these guys and going in and swinging, you know? Yeah, I could, I could do that for fun. Why not? Try to switch things up a little. Uh, actually, oh, I can devour this corpse too. But that's kind of pointless for me. And I don't do enough damage with this stack. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't even think I have force field on this guy either. Can I teleport? Well, I could, have, I could have also teleported them out after I hit. Alright, well... I'm just trying to think of fun ways to win the fight, because I don't want to always rely on the same spells, but I don't think I got much of a choice here, really. So the best spells for a reason. Surprise, surprise. I mean, of course I also had already opened up with slow, so... And these guys cursed me, so... Kind of pointless bother casting Bless in the first place. Okay. I will res my guys back. Yeah, I mean, again, I can devour... Wait, 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 wait. I can devour uh, the corpses of undead units, too. I mean, I guess it's any corpse. As long as uh, Ring of Oblivion is not in play, I guess. Um, okay. Well, there you go, then. 
Uh, I'm going to grab this. This is what I'm here for. Uh, let me get rid of that. And what is this? Neela? Ah, rip Neela. Okay, cool. And Nagas are next. Although I kind of don't want to waste my time either. I'm going for... Well, actually, Black Market. Who knows? Maybe they'll surprise me with something useful. Yeah. I want to see if we can get some good heroes. I'm just going to open up with... Or I'm probably going to end up casting res. And I'm just going to get this over with. Uh, yes, right. They have no enemy retaliation, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Basic air. Hoo. Hoo hoo. Them's a fight in words. Ah, nice little helmet here that I can tinker around with. But, again, not really much use for that. Air. Two hundred and ninety nine spell points. Ah you know, what can you do about it is what it is. Town portal Lackenshire. Yeah. Okay, that hero's done. What other heroes do I have? This one's not going to do anything. Uh, this one's not doing anything. This one... Uh, I don't yet have a hero going down this way to the whites, so I should probably head there. I'm going to go Castletown. And I'm just going to... Oh, I have four times DD now, too. Thank goodness. And I also have uh, speed advantage from my uh, ballistics if I end up taking like a siege or something. Imagine if I, like, it's already been, like, eight hours, I realize. Imagine if I did this, but I didn't, uh... I wonder if I can ever actually bring these guys into my army. I'm gonna sk uh, skip this fight for once. Um, but yeah, imagine if I didn't have... Uh, Dimension Door available to me for all this. This just would have been completely insane. Oh, there you go. There's air. On your hands in the air, air. A year. All right. Well, I don't think you can reach me in one go. Uh, this hero. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm trying to find like a good use for this hero. Oh, you know, well, somebody's supposed to be chasing after... Oh, yeah, it's this hero. Celestine. Expert Earth, Expert Air. Okay, well, let's go do our thing then. I'm gonna go and grab this for some... Ah... Go for some knowledge this time. I don't have enough spell points to keep spamming. Um, to keep spamming Dimension Door, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to be more conservative with my spell casts. What other things can I do here? Uh, I have expert air, don't I? I have it also view air, so if I view air like here, I could probably I could probably take out the Naga Queens and get Angel Wings and then just start pushing towards Teal. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Although I came across Teal earlier, that portal will probably take me to Teal. I'll probably go bottom left and fight green instead. That was green, right? Uh this sorry, West. Yeah, it's sort of like west-southwest area. Um, yeah, let's just do that then. Oh, actually, I could upgrade these guys, can't I? Or attempt to. Do I have anything I can... 
I need 20 crystals and 15,000 gold. You know what? That's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll use just these guys in their basic form until, until later. All right. Yeah, we're make, starting to make some progress on this map. And yeah, I sound by what I said. Like, I probably could have just stuck with one hero, leveled that one hero, and then I could have eliminated these AI much more easily, but I really did want to have each of my units, or give each of my units a chance to shine. And what is going on here? Uh, alright, well, I mean, here's a hero that I can use to explore what's going on. Uh, yeah, there's like no one in this area. You Earth. This is, again, very bizarre. So there's apparently a town up there, and this will probably take me underground, is my guess. To somewhere. But I'm going to go for the town first. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's just magic arrow these guys. Oh, can't kill them all with one. Okay, swing. Mm. And... Should have just DD'd, I guess, but... Horde of Rocks? I mean, this hero has Logistics, Intelligence, Earth, Air, Pathfinding, and Wisdom. I don't really know what else I need on her at this point, and I actually also just realized I don't know why I don't have this equipped either. Uh, it doesn't much matter, does it? Okay. That's one hero. Here's another hero. Ah, right, and then there's blue. Or if there's something I can do about that. Uh, I get a DD here. DD here. Yep, should be an easy fight. There's also a golden bow beside me, too. I can use that with... Well, actually, yeah. Uh, I might clear this first. Uh, so I can give the golden bow to my... Um, the hero with the ranged units. Yeah, that way, uh, they can actually go much quicker. Okay, well, again, this guy feels a lot weaker than he should. Okay. I can hit this, Horde of Clops. Should be pretty straight. It's, Horde of Clops is like maxi, 5x10. Oh, they, they made them invulnerable, and then they basically swung with each of the stacks. That's cool. Didn't even need to. Didn't even need to skip a turn for that. Just going across the battlefield back and forth. That's cool. Did any of these guys take a lot of damage? I mean, they, they're also very squishy. That's the other thing too. I don't know if it's worth it to get one round of invulnerability. Um, what well, like for losing like 50 HP? Or like 100 HP compared to the other uh, T7 units. Yeah, that's a little lame in some ways. Alright, uh, I'm going to group these guys up real quick. Hit this. I'll probably uh, town portal to the tower town that I just captured this turn. Oh, shoot. I should have actually used, uh... Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me let me redo that fight properly. Uh, yeah, I could... So, I wait, and then I swing first, and then I'm supposed to use temporary invulnerability. That's how it works. And then that causes them to back up real quick. 
Yeah, these guys being speed 15s are it's kind of interesting. Like they're still able to get across, uh, it's like from one side of the map to the other, pretty easily. But uh, they're definitely not as quick as like Arch Devils or AAs, of course. All right, there you go. That's the end of the fight. There we go. 10,000 XP. And uh, this thing, too. Oh, but then if I grab this, then I'm not going to be able to... I won't be able to TP out of here. So, I guess I will just TP out of here. Uh, it'll be Mistos, probably. And normally, I would uh, take a Siege of sorts. But this time, I am going to give the Golden Bow and let... Why Nona do uh, her thing? Yeah, Purple's trying to run away, but we're not going to let him. Archery. I have Mass Slow and... Well, I have Mass Slow and Resurrection. Oh, and uh, do I have... You know what? Yeah, this hero needs the Tunic much more than I do. Or more than Ziff does in this case. Okay, they have Ain and uh, Ein like side by side, and I have Highest Kingdom Army strength now. That's sort of to be expected with the fact that I got like Juggernauts and Crimson Coatles in the same. Well, not not Juggernauts yet. Yeah, it's Dreadnoughts, but Juggernauts soon, I guess. It's about time, really. All right. So, what can we do here? I'll open up with Mass Slow and try to preserve some spell points, as always. You know what? You know what, actually? I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch things up a little. Um, I'm gonna clone. Oh, I can't clone these guys, though. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I clone... I'm pretty sure if I clone these and they do the preemptive shot, uh, those clones could actually do a number on uh, enemy ranged units. These guys are speed 8s, so you get to go before these guys. Wow, they get to teleport them over? That's just not fair, man. But, I mean, I'm glad that they chose to target them, rather than a slightly more useful unit, I dare say. All right. I will cure these guys. Huh. These guys just don't do that much damage. Titans pause and wait for a better time to act. Uh, okay. That's sort of weird. They would do that, but I mean, they can't retreat. They're out of towns. So I don't need to worry so much about um, trying to keep units alive or trying to re uh, leave enough units that I can res everything back to life. I will resurrect this guy and shoot this guy. And then I can also res these guys and shoot them. Uh, it says I lost 367, but that's because of the clone, right? Apply battle results. Crest of Valor. It gets me every time when I first look at it. I'm like, wait a second, what? And then I'm like, oh yeah. Alright. And then <clears throat> the fight against Ein. Now this fight, he opens up with forgetfulness. Okay. Uh, how do I want to do this? And I could implode to start off too. I did not expect forgetfulness. That's actually a little on the scary side. Two, three. Um, yeah, these guys, well, I mean, Titans take out bounty hunters. Yeah, I can bring those guys back. So, it should be fine. Forgetfulness again. Grab those magi. 
cause me some problems. Um, I will actually draw out the retail and try to get a couple hits in with my bounty hunters, I guess. I can shoot at these ones for now. And hit these guys. Ow. Yo, they, they hurt uh, really badly. And they even had one spell point teleport, too. That's beautiful. That's the last of their spell casts, I believe. Seven. Okay, well, at this point, I guess I just hit these guys. I could honestly have dispelled them, too. Or I could let them die. If I let them die, then I might be able to get away with... Rezzing them back when all of them are alive again. Oh wow, okay. Hmm. Yeah, deal with these guys. Yeah, and there it is. Uh, there it goes. I will target these guys. Oh, I can only bring back 15 of them. Oh man, my spell power is too low. That's too bad. At this point in the game, do I care if I uh, if I lose some bounty hunters? I kind of don't think I do. Pew. Yeah, that was a lot of bounty hunters that I lost, but I also feel like I've showcased enough of the bounty hunters that I don't really care too much, I guess. Yeah. Not the bounty hunters. Well, anyway. Okay, so that's one player uh, that I no longer had to worry about. But then again, it sort of does feel weird. Like, this is... Uh, I gave the golden... Uh, I mean, I have diplomacy. I can always just get some more into my army later. It's not a big deal. Anyway. Uh, do I have Charm of Mana? Yes! I can Town Portal back next turn. This is actually perfect for me. Okay, now what? Ah, uh, yes. Gotta go finish what we started. I wanted to go grab this... Dragon Utopia. Then once I finish grabbing that Dragon Utopia, I wanted to go and fight some of the other players. So let's go do our thing. Alright. So then I'm going to hit this next. And then we're good to go. How about here? What's going on with this? Uh, view Earth and View Earth. Okay. I'm actually pretty close to their town, it looks like. I got three DDs. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I actually overshot. But I actually don't... Th oh, you know what? May have... Uh, have a may have made a bit of a blunder. I don't actually have any... <laughs> I don't have enough mana to get out. Uh, didn't realize I was running out of spell points here. <clears throat> yeah. I hope he doesn't run up to me and whoop me here. His army does look pretty quick. Um... If he does, then I might need to actually load this and do this again, because, yeah, again, I don't want to lose my army, just, like, I'm trying to really make do with these Sentinel Automatons and whatnot, or showcase them. Okay, 
you err. Um, at this point, I'm actually also tempted to just start spamming Dimension Door to get to the places I need to go and not even bother with these. Oh, oh wait, no, right. This hero was supposed to go over here and head towards green. That's what it was. Oh, there's a teapot here. I mean... I can... Chain light. Oh, Armageddon. <laughs> but these uh, juggernauts don't have any special abilities that allow, them, that allow them to negate damage from Armageddon, so I can't just rely on that. Inferno, Frenzy, Clone, Prayer. Well, I could have some fun with Clone. Anyway, I'll come back for that a little later. I think. Well, I'll actually have a Cove Town just south of here. I can town portal directly to Norhal, can't I? Hmm. Yeah. Uh Celestine. I don't want to have to run the risk of redoing this whole battle again. And what is an airship yard? I'm kind of curious about that. I'm going to have to check that in a bit. Okay, is that everybody? This one's good to go. Tankard's visiting. This guy's not doing much. This one's not doing much either. And this one's just chilling in town. And again, these are my six heroes of the apocalypse. Especially Ziff. Yeah. These are basically my six heroes of the apocalypse. Um, okay, so Tan's just chilling, so I don't need to redo all that. Um, because he's not attacking. As far as I can tell, at least. Nope. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'm going to mass slow first, I think. Yeah, that would be good. And I'm going to meteor shower and hit this one. Wait a second, what just happened? The Wait a second, what? Ho hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I'm going to set the animation speed to 2. So, I slow the... Or, I mass slow first. I hit these guys, that's fine. I saw this happen earlier too, but it happened so fast that I didn't... I wasn't, like... I didn't really pay much attention to it. So, if I hit from here, I probably should attack normally. But, if I hit from here, it actually devours the corpse first... And then I get the, uh, to attack like I originally uh, intended. I'm going to blind this one and actually see here real quick. If I hit here, do I devour the corpse? No, I don't, but I get two hits. All right, wow. So if the spot that I end up at when they're chasing after me has a corpse then it looks like I actually get like a second hit uh, from what I can tell. I don't have to click on Devour Corpses specifically, I just have to like go to that spot and then it'll automatically devour the corpse for me. Alright. If I hit from here though, where there's no corpse, then they're not gonna do anything. So here, I can hit this. If I attack from this side, then it will eat the corpse, and then uh, hit the Rust Dragon. And here's a similar situation, too. Cool. Nice to know. Yeah, this is a maxi, maxi tope. Um, yep. Pretty high stats here. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously doable, but. Uh, I get a shield first. And I wait. Ow. I should have also mass slowed. That was a mistake on my part. Whoopsies. Slow them because I have. Uh... Actually, sorry. I, I mean, 
I could have done this in, I can do this a lot of many different ways. It's just that I have uh, Orb of Vulnerability, so I'm actually going to have some fun with this for once, because I don't usually get a chance to play around with this. I can... Do I have Force Field? No, I don't. Yikes. I do a lot of damage. I mean, I guess I could just res them all back to life. That's probably the way to go. I wanted to Zerk these guys. That's that's why. Some fun with Zerk, but they're not letting me get away. Berserk. No. Well, actually, yeah, I can do it anyway, just for just for laughs. Ha ha. And I get to resurrect these guys. And before I attack, I'm gonna try to use Frenzy. Oh, hold on, I can devour corpses too. Yeah, let's devour them. Okay, so now, again, I have expert fire, right? So uh, I can attack multiple times here, is my understanding. They're blinded so they can't retaliate. I was gonna Frenzy, but if I get multiple attacks, then none of that matters. Teapot, fi uh, Tome of Fire, Spellbinder's Hat. It's crowned dragon tooth and fifty thousand gold. <clears throat> okay, so I guess you get a hat and you get a hat and everybody gets a hat is what's gonna happen in a couple moments. Uh Dimension Door Resurrection and Town Portal. How many are alive? Yeah, I'll go over here. Actually. Okay, well, we'll slow. Don't have enough mana to really mess around with other spells at this point anyway. Okay, now I can res. I mean, I'm out of here after this turn anyway, so. Hmm, hideous mask. 5,000 XP. There you go, Ex or advanced error. And then if I want, I can clear out some of these, but then I'll be uh, lots of automatons. Nah, let's not do that. <laughs> Those automatons explode. Again, I'm not used to fighting these guys yet. Like, I don't know what fights I can and can't take. Anyway. Um, at this point, I can go to... Uh, Mistos? And I can actually start dumping some hats... Into this hero's hands. All fire spells. I mean, sure, why not? Yeah, I mean, let's put this on, I guess. Titan's Gladius. Yeah, Victoria has everything she needs, really. Okay, so Winona is already in a pretty good spot. Subterranean Gate takes me here. Uh, let's go with some of the, I was going to say easy to move heroes, but again, I don't have an easy way out with this one. Is there at least a well nearby? That would be nice. Oh, I can use the ruins even if I don't have any, even if uh, I wasn't the one who cleared it. I actually never knew that, but okay. Oh, did I not? build a mage in this town? I guess I didn't. That's okay. I can clear out some of these fights with my current spells, I guess. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I, I take it back. They're just they're just too good at the game. Um, not really in the mood to lose one. So let's just... Pretend that never happened. Uh, I'll, I'll, more on that hero in a second, actually. Let's see where this hero ends up at. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Teal's got a town nearby. Maybe I'll push Teal. Oh, yeah, where does this take me to? Okay, Orange is just down there. Uh, I'm going to view Earth here real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fine. Q. 
Okay. I also just noticed that this is Teal's Town, not Orange's. Let's so like, wait, whoa, what? Okay, there's like a small pocket of air here, which is perfect for me. But yeah, it looks to me like Orange has a town right over here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to step right in and see what we can do. I just left some units lying around. Okay, no problem. We got this. Haha. -ha. I'm surprised that they came forward. That was unexpected. Mm hmm. Hit this. I wonder how many I can res back here. 259. Or, well, 37 come back from the dead. Uh, I mean, they're full HP, so I think this should be fine. I mean, I can't really bring that back, but it's supposed to be there for speed advantage anyway. Ah, Gretchen. I guess I bought out the uh, factory hero for the week. Anyway, alright, cool. I only have 50 spell points, but that should be plenty, right? Uh... Yeah... Advanced Diplo, Advanced Wisdom. I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, I don't have enough mana here. Um, town portal. Yeah, these two heroes are already... Oh, actually, no, Ziff is just chilling right now. Uh, yeah, I'll make my life a little bit easier for once. I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to pick up... <coughs> nice brand new hat because I oh well this hero also has his own so this is perfect and a tome of fire too but again I don't know if I need a tome of fire yeah I'll throw it on anyway boom There's a... Uh, oh, purple's just right over here. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'll deal with purple when he shows up. But in the meantime, uh, I guess... Who's left? Um, they're each starting to get multiple towns. So I gotta go and start shutting them down. Uh, I suppose I should deal with blue from the uh, tower town. Tower town air. Yeah, sure. Let's go have some fun. I just realized something. I can... I mean, if these guys allow me to go invulnerable without skipping a turn, I can just... I, just <laughs> I don't know why I haven't been doing this already, but that means I can just do this, right? I'm very invulnerable. I'm sure somebody's got to have been screaming it at the, at, the, uh, at the screen, but yeah, I can just do that. Like, I don't need to... Yeah, I mean, previously I needed a unit to accompany this one. Or to accompany their unupgraded counterpart so that. Oh, okay. Yeah, previously I needed something to accompany my Kuat uh, Kuatl, but in this case, I, I don't. <laughs> uh, I don't need it because they have their own built in invulnerability now. It makes me wonder if, like, well, I mean. If I can't Armageddon them, they can't cast spells on them either. Because Invulnerable... Uh, I was wondering if it was just for combat, like, getting hit uh, by enemy monsters or something. But I guess it's for everything. Is uh, my guess as to how that all works. Anyway, I'm just chilling here. I'm going to farm as many stat boosts as I can. I'm trying to hope that he doesn't have Dimension Order to come and whoop me. Because, yeah, I... We'll refill my spell points in a couple turns and I can DD out of here, or TP out of here, rather. Ah, I keep forgetting. 
Uh, I can't res them, right? <laughs> well, I figured as much they're mechanical, but it was worth a shot. Uh, yes, right, I keep forgetting that this guy I should not be fighting with. Okay, I could... What can I do with this? Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, no, that wouldn't work, though. I was gonna say, I was gonna... I could try to, like, use clone against magic elementals or something, but... Yeah, this is just not a unit that I can easily cheese with. I can't even uh, abuse res with them either, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out something useful I can do with these guys, you know? But as it stands right now, I am under the impression that they're not... They're definitely not a unit that I can really do as much as I'd like with them. Even their upgrade, like, their upgraded counterpart I, I thought that they... Okay, here. Actually, before anything else, let me just... Uh, can I... I want to get the uh, upgrade. But I don't have enough crystals. Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, here we go. Crystals, finally. Yeah, so... There we go. Upgraded Gantry. Uh, so now I have Juggernauts, right? But, again, like, at least with the Kuatles, uh, I mean, their stats are also still very low, along with the damage. But, yeah, I can cheese with Armageddon using them. Um, there are some weird uses, I guess, that you can have with invulnerability. But these Juggernauts are kind of like... Eh, they're not even, like... I can't believe I'm saying this, but they almost feel like worse Chaos Hiders in some ways. They don't have as... Well, they have a lot more damage and quite a bit more health. And even attack and defense skill. Uh, but, like, they're, like, the same speed. And they only... Well, I mean, it's like kind of like a ranged Cerberi attack, I guess. But... I don't know. It's, uh... They're definitely not as game-breaking as AAs. And not as uh, impressive and damage output as Grey Bears is sort of how I feel about them. Well, about the Dreadnoughts. I mean, I'll, I'll try the Juggernauts in a second, but I imagine it's going to be a very similar, very, very similar experience. I... cool. But I guess, to be fair, the Dreadnoughts are, uh, the Dreadnoughts are supposed to be used in combination with uh, the engineers. That's probably part of the reason why it's not... I mean, it's sort of like whatever. Oh, yeah, I do have some danger coming up. Well, either way, I'm gonna level this hero up to expert ballistics, and it looks like there is a town right up here, so let's go and hit that real quick. So, uh, yeah. And I'ma just uh, do the thing, get temporary invulnerability, and then I'll just arm again, boom. And I just hit these guys. Ah, end of the fight. And all I lost was the catapult. And, um, I would like to know what's out here. Still water. This is the town that I just captured. And I'm gonna run up this way. I don't have air magic on this hero either, so I can only DD once per turn. That's a little annoying still. A throng of mechanics and a manufactory. That would produce me. I believe it's the uh, automatons, yeah. Yeah, I'll slide past them and see how far I need to go. Alright, well, this guy still has a number of Dimension Door casts that he has access to, so... I'm gonna hop on over to Emerald... Wait a second, Emerald Moor itself, like, I could 
straight up use Celestine to go and deal with Teal by herself. I don't need uh, assistance from anybody else for that. Well, aside from being able to view air so I know which direction I'm headed. Oh, it's right here. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Pew, pew, pew. And I don't have... I can't just teleport them over, unfortunately. Oh, well. Uh... Okay, they're coming out. Oh, that's great. You know what? Hold on. There's a quicker way to do this. Uh, magic arrow opening round. Okay, now he'll come out, and then I can kill that unit. And then, like, well, I can res and then kill that unit. <clears throat> there we go. Basic armor or basic scouting. I'll go with scouting. Scouting's probably more fun in this case. <laughs> Let's uh, view air and see what else is available in this area. Nothing really. Just starting to eliminate the AI one by one at this point. Uh, teal, green... Wow, Teal has quite a number of towns, actually. But again, thanks to Dimension Door, I can actually uh, close out this game. Uh, without having to stress out about that too much. Alright. Uh, this hero can start heading to... to Teal. Oh, there's another uh, Library of Enlightenment here? Oh, very nice. Um, can I fly? What the? Well, I mean, the good news is the town's, like, very close by. The bad news is... <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, I'm not quite able to reach it this turn. But you know what? I don't think they can... They really have uh, many reinforcements available, so I should be okay here. Uh, what do we got next to... Here. I might be able to get Celestine to... Oh, okay. Don't have enough. I can get Celestine to maybe chase uh, to DD down this way and go through that subterranean gate now. <clears throat> and I'm still grabbing some stat boosts. So this is pretty nice. Uh, where is... Okay, there's... Tan's got a hero up north, but... could still reach me from there. It's pretty scary. There's also a, t a neutral town there, too. Um, I'll use that to get to Teal. Uh, green is under attack. Okay, well, at this point, I still have some DDs available. I had a town portal to Lackenshire and chase uh, head north. I think this will be Ziff's job. And he's already max level, so I don't need to stop for any uh, trees of knowledge or anything like that. Yep, I'll clear that. That's cool. I also need my heroes to return back to grab the... Um... Yeah, sure. I need my heroes to come back. Uh go back to the castle town, beginning of next turn, to get their stables bonus. Well, whichever ones can hit it, at least, because not everybody can, of course. Okay. Well, yeah, this hero's just chilling right now. Uh, where are... Like, who else can I go and hijack towns from? Maybe Teal, on that side. Yeah. Town portal to Noral. And then go one. E 
Yeah, I do need, like, a little bit of XP, right? F like, 20k. Alright, well. Okay, well that's convenient. And I have diplomacy. Okay, come on. Maybe these guys are, are going to be willing to join me. Oh, they want to fight. That's too bad. Uh, I'm kind of curious about something. Can they eat their own corpses? Yeah, they can. Wow. I mean, I shouldn't be all that surprised by it, but all the same. I am still in the middle of trying to test the limits of what's available. Quetels want to fight. Yeah, well, no surprise there. Uh, where are we at? Over here. There's no towns in this area, but I can keep heading southeast over here to chase after uh, one of them. Yeah, Teal has a town down here. I can still potentially get it. Gunslingers want to fight. I think it's just because they see my army is too weak. If I could get more units, then they'd be willing to join. I have the gold for it. <clears throat> okay, anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, each of these heroes is cap in a town. And I've, I've basically showcased every single one of the units at this point. Um, so just to recap, going into this uh, month three we Okay, well, I need to do something about this hero, but... Yeah, just a recap going into this uh, month three, week one, day one. I have six different armies going up right now. I have the automatons with the engineers. Um, yeah, the automatons are mechanical. They have no enemy retaliation. They blow up when they die. Uh, and they're speed nines with kind of squishy uh, 30 HP. Engineers have... Uh, they have breath attack for some reason, uh, and they repair mechanical creatures. Uh, 20 hit points per engineer, so you basically bring back my entire automaton stack back to life. Uh, we have, uh, I'll go, I'll do that army last. Uh, we have one army uh, filled with halfling grenadiers and bounty hunters. Those are the two ranged units in this town. I have one army of crimson coatles. Uh, backed up by a hero that has access to Armageddon, uh, so I can just make this stack invulnerable and blow it up, or blow up the battlefield, I guess. And I got the uh, armadillos. I should probably talk more about this towards the end of the uh, the game, though. I think I'll do that at the end of the game. All the way, Corcoys. and then the dreadnoughts, which I'm going to upgrade juggernauts. I feel like this is a pretty good uh, divvy. What I have going on right now. Ranged, uh, mechanical, uh, tier 5s, tier 6s, tier 7s, and tier 3s on six different heroes. This is pretty cool. I have never played a match like this. And uh, I hope that so far that you all have been enjoying this because I feel like this has honestly been a very, I dare say, it's been a good game. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but just in case I can, let's just view air and see what's on the other side. Oh, okay. Teal's just over there, actually. Uh, how close is it? Oh, no way. I can actually cap it. Um, yeah, I can actually cap it. Oh, this is great. Uh, I will magic arrow this guy first. Okay. Cool. And I can... <clears throat> keep this gate open and start eliminating these guys one by one. Oh, some of these guys are going to swing at me. My guys will go first. Okay, great. Alright, and then I can res these guys and 
I <clears throat> will let these guys hold the line. I could town portal out here and then let one of my other... Oh, yo! Okay, hold on a second. I got an idea. Uh, this guy. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem because I can cap this town this turn, I think. But then I'll lose a lot of units. Do I have any counter? No, I don't have any, like, good spells. That's the problem here. <clears throat> yeah, I'll lose a lot of Juggernauts. Do I have any... I can chain lightning and... I have pro fire. Oh, man. It's going to be very costly to cap this town. Like, I'll lose a lot of ju uh, Dreadnoughts, but I think it's worth it just because I don't want this game to drag on for too long. Okay, I would have lost a good chunk of my... So wait a second. Maybe. Oh, well that's too bad. I was going to try to like... I <laughs> could just armor it, but... These guys might survive. Yeah, this is going to be a very painful fight if I... Commit to it. Not like I have much of a choice, I guess. I can keep spamming Cure, but it's not enough. These guys are too slow. <laughs> Even if I upgraded them, they'd be too slow. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to prepare myself to lose like a number of units. Let's break open the front gate if possible. Okay, I'm going to stay away from my, from my catapult if possible. basically just get taxed a couple of uh, these guys. Meteor Shower, Berserk, Frenzy, Inferno. It's just going to be chain spam over and over, really. Oh, targeted catapult. Okay, cool. Oh, come on, man. Okay, the Baldorves pause and wait for a better time to act. Uh, yeah, and I can't frenzy, right? Yep, the spell will affect no one. I mean, they could target the catapult, can't they? Pauses and waits for a better time to act. Okay, I can do this. Okay, perfect. Just what I need them to do. Uh, and I might actually be able to save one of my dreadnoughts here if I do this. Attack with a heat stroke. Um, well, I guess it doesn't much matter anymore. Oh, nope, never mind. I, I timed that wrong. Well, I mean, I don't know how else I would have timed it, but anyway. Alright, well. Yeah, we did manage to cap the town. We lost quite a number of units in the process, but uh, this is fine. Oh, wow, they got Dimension Door. They re-rolled for it. Uh, view air. I don't really see anything here. Oh, you know what? Wait. Oh, I have all the factory heroes. It's the start of the new week, and I don't have any factory heroes showing up, so I guess I have all of them? Or... Sorry, I don't have all of them, but, I mean, I've taken all the ones that are available in the tavern, and the rest of them are probably on the map somewhere. Anyway, uh, you know what, no, that's the wrong one. There's a town up north, but I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that this turn. Actually, wait a sec. Why did I even bother to go this way if it was so far... Hmm. Weird. Okay, well, I'll... At least try to let this hero have some have some fun. Oh, okay. Well, there they are. Let's go wipe them out. 
Floribert. Ho oh, ho, they also have some factory heroes of their own. I have res, right? Cool. Ah, oh, yeah, these guys are speed 10s, too. They don't really look like an upgraded unit, though. That's the only thing. Also, he hasn't casted a single spell. I'm very intrigued as to why that is. Uh, I mean, I'll wait until the last uh, hit of the hit of the fight. Oh, you know what? This is probably like a might hero that he took, he got from a tavern, and then, well, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. This is probably a might hero that he found from a tavern that uh, didn't come with a spell book. That's probably what happened, I would imagine at least. All right, what's going on with this hero? Okay, I will grab, grab the uh, neutral town there. Uh, Teal is chilling here. I don't have access to a, a, a castle, and I'm down to 14 spell points, so I'll stand and fight here with the sandworms and see how well they fare. Well, I mean, I could also let Ziff deal with it, but I've already taken plenty of fights with Ziff. Oh my goodness, finally. Basic air. Oh, another factory? Fort Rotwang. Okay, well this is... <laughs> this is an interesting name, but sure. Uh, Mystic Orb of Mana. Okay, I think I have all three components now. So that allows me to make wizards well. Boom. Okay. Very nice. Oh, that's a lot of them. Pew. Oh man, my stack of uh, bounty hunters, if ever it was weak before, it's a lot weaker now because of uh, those fights that I took. But I'm kind of curious, if I frenzy... Oh yeah, that is a big damage boost right there. Completely unnecessary, of course, but still. Actually, why am I bothering to try to wait for them to come to me? I have Golden Bow for crying out loud. Oh, that's funny. This is all heirs, but uh, I already... Well, yeah, this is an all heirs box, but I know most of the heirs, and I don't have expert wisdom for DD and fly. Okay. So Wyona is going to chill here for the turn. Uh, this hero is going to be more than capable of handling this town, I suspect. I don't even have a castle. They were so generous as to build me a castle for my own use. And what is in this town? Oh yeah, he's on his way to come and whip me. I wanted to build a lookout tower, but oh well. Uh, who else do we have? Ah, yes, I'm one turn short from being able to flee from this area, because I don't think that this hero will be enough to handle that. Unless I actually have all my spell points available and whatnot. I like how all of the seven players are still up, but a lot of the AI, or a number of the AI players are down to one town, and the other ones are up, like, down to zero. I think that based on my view air, I have pink, tan, and orange still alive, but I realize that there is still one thing left undone, and that's to actually finish looking for the grail. So, I don't know where all the obelisks are. Kind of, uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping to find some obelisks, but uh, from the looks of things, it might not be happening this game. Also could use a well right about now. Oh, you know what? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am running out of spell points and I need this hero to cast view air on my behalf. Yeah. Okay, so the town is like up here somewhere, but if I go up there, then 
You know what? I'll risk it. Sure. Nope. Well, I am kind of stuck here now. Sure. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until next turn before I can town portal back. I was really hoping to capture the town now, but that was, I guess, a little too ambitious. I was also looking for, like, a magic well or something. That would have been really nice, but... Alright, we got a number of big fights coming up in a couple moments, so... Here we go. Uh, looking forward to seeing how each of them will go. Oh, I just realized I messed up. There was a... Kiro next to... One of the castle towns. Yeah, I should probably reinforce that one. Actually, I don't want to have to come back for that town. I feel like that's sort of a waste of time, given the, given this uh, playthrough. <laughs> or how long this playthrough has, has gone on for. Oh, there you go. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, this army's like really weak too, so... Let's just get this over with. Or have I already used up all of my heroes? I might actually have already used up all of my heroes. That's crazy. You know, the funny thing is... Oh man, if this hero had earth magic... Or... If this hero... Or no, sorry. Um, I could have... If I could build like a citadel, and I actually had reinforcements for my... <laughs> from one of the factory heroes. I, I could have actually held Castellatus. That's the hilarious part. Um, yeah, I could have just gone Citadel and one, any factory hero would have probably been sufficient. But you know what? Again, I don't want to have to play Wild Goose Chase, so I'm just going to do this real quick. And then I will try and get this hero to somewhere safe, if nothing else. Alright, cool, cool. Also, I like how Orange was just one step short from reaching the town. These, this is like the best time for the AI to attack me because I was like no spell points on some of my towns. I took like a really big risk on some of these. But, um, unfortunately, didn't quite make it. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah. People are trying to magic arrow me if I don't do something. Okay. Ah, here we go. Oh, I have quick combat, so it kind of spoiled it, but... Alright. I will wait. Oh, wow, the Chaos Hydra Doe. Well, doesn't make much of a difference either way. They still got Wombo'd all the same. Nope. They have faster speed. They felt really quick there. But... Alright. Mm. Yeah, kind of tired of uh, playing games with you, AI. I'm gonna take out the catapult first! And I'll res. And I'll hit. Boom. Easy Katka. Yeah. And, alright, I think that's Steel's most threatening army there. And it looks like uh, the game's taking a bit to decide what it wants to do. Uh, I probably shouldn't have messed around like that because... Uh, oh, there we go. This is why. Uh, well, I mean, in case they had attacked one of the other... Oh, I just realized, yeah, I don't have any spell points, really. Can't even really res or anything like that. Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, that's too bad. The old way Corkoys was were not, and they have twenty-eight whips too. Yeah, I can't <laughs> take on uh, this army on, like, given my current what I have right now. I'd lose all my old way Corkoys. I'll just be uh, honest about it. And his stats are insane too. Like his stats are actually pretty nutty. If they were like low stats, then maybe I could have like killed Nag Queens and used the corpses to inflict a significant amount of damage, but. It looks to me like I will have to reload after all, and maybe give this another go in a little bit. Um, actually, 
this. I could kill two birds with one stone. Uh, it was this town, right? Yeah. I probably should have reinforced that with one of my actual good heroes. Is there anywhere where I have a magic well? There's gotta be. I just need any town that has a magic well. If any one of these were a dungeon town, I like, or if multiple of these were dungeon towns, that would have been perfect, but so far, just uh, didn't make things very easy for me. Yeah, I don't remember anywhere that has a well, unfortunately. I know that there's a magic spring somewhere, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. I think I need a well or something close. Okay, well, I mean, this is the only other option I can think of. And again, if I had even like a bit more spell points, or a couple more spell points, I totally could have tried to, you know, lock down Athenium with my ranged shooters, but... Oh well, it is what it is. 681 uh, movement points remain. Yeah, I'll just sit here. I might lose some of these worms, but that's the Olkoi Korkois, but I don't know why they chose such bizarre names. Sandworm I like. I think Sandworm is a pretty solid name, but like all the other ones are like, what the heck? What are, where did these come from, you know? Alright. And here they are. Yeah, I figured as much. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Yeah, thought so. Oh, what? I actually lost three on that one. Alright, I think... Yeah, I think Auto Combat lost two, right? Anyway, it doesn't much matter. Ah, uh, here we go. Same situation as before. Magic Arrow. Done. And then this fight comes... Wait. These guys, retaliation, same as before, haste, swing into these guys, and hit these guys because I know that the arrow terrors will shoot uh, if I swing, and then I can res these guys back to life. Good. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, there you go. So heels going down, it looks like. Kind of unfortunate. If I were just a little bit better prepared, if I had like more like knowledge-boosting arties or spell points on my heroes, I almost would have been able to take out like all of the AI players in like one turn. That's kind of crazy to think about. Um, oh yeah, this hero has mysticism. Oh, that might actually... Oh, shoot, that's a big army. Hmm. How many more players are left? Okay, cool. Six players left. And Pink also is looking pretty strong. I wonder if that's because he merged his armies together. No, wait, that was Teal that I fought, not Pink. Pink is an even stronger army. That's kind of exciting to, to hear. Alright, I should Town Portal out of here, but... I'm gonna... <laughs> I should town portal out of here, but I'll take the risk. I'm gonna just... Okay. I'm just... Basically just clowning right now. <laughs> I can go five feet, and then I'm just blocked off. Okay, but at least next turn... Uh-oh. Well, I have fly. I can fly next turn. I'll just fly at him. I don't even need Dimension Door anymore. I might lose some units. Uh some coatals because I don't, won't have resurrection, but as long as it gets the job done, that's what matters right now. Wow, that is a long road to get to him. But at least I know where he is now. Okay, I'll move this hero last. Alright. Uh, hmm. 
Okay, at this point, I have a siege coming up at Glade Root. So I would like for this siege, uh, I'm going to turn these guys into into juggernauts. Yeah. Cool, cool. And I'll also grab my Corkoise. Glade Root. Uh, and swap this real quick. Do I have any good arties? Ah, uh, yeah. Some arties would be nice, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, you know, I wonder if I could put on, like, Orb of Vulnerability. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very nice. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Let's see what happens if I Orb of Vulnerability and, uh, use this Red Dragon Flame Tongue. I was thinking, I mean, I could Frenzy, can't I? I have Berserk and Frenzy. Yeah, I'll use those for this fight and have some fun with those. Also, still just got to point it out. Oh, Expert Archery. Ah, I need air. That's it's, uh, two times DD, you know. These guys want to fight? Are you kidding me right now? Well, this might actually work out quite nicely because Fort Rotwang. Yeah, I could just... Yeah, I could just solo them like this, right? Yeah, and then they're just going to use their special ability to shoot at every individual stack. Same though, but the liches might be a little bit more complicated than that. But, of course, I have resurrection, so it doesn't much matter, does it? Yeah, no. Death Cloud attack, they can't... Uh, counter that, it looks like. Okay, let's make it quick. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Pew. Alright, res, and then uh, set this back and then shoot. Alright. Uh, I'll probably get ready to town portal back. I just needed somebody to accompany this hero for a little bit, because... Yeah, I'm gonna keep exploring. What is going on here, even? I get two, or, well, a couple spell casts. Oh, very nice. Uh, boots a Speedo here, and they'll join for 37.2k. Alright. Oh. Okay, well. I mean. Yeah. Awkward! Yeah, I'm gonna just post up in front of his face here. Alright. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to try to see if I can... I go back to Norel. This was originally where I was, wasn't it? I think it was here, yeah. <laughs> this is where I originally was to try to chase after the AI from this town. But. Yep, this guy can go back. This one's just chilling. And this one can go back to. <laughs> it pains me to know that the nearest town to town is... Well, actually, it's this one, isn't it? Mistos. I'm gonna go to Mistos. I'll DD in from Mistos. It's probably the way to go. It's sort of a new... Uh... Like, yeah, new month, too. So... Uh... Looks to me like the AI has hijacked a lot of the, uh... Available options. Oh, shoot. I should've gone to grab the stables bonus first. Oops. That's all good. I'm gonna pass the turn here. I think I've moved most, if not all, of my heroes. Well, actually, no, there was the one in the fortress town, but he's just chilling for a bit. All good. Alright, we're basically approaching the end game. Oh, what is this? Ramp hero? Okay, Tan knows that I'm no longer there and threatening, so he's just chilling. I like how they're leaving the best for last here. Um, okay, so I could probably win this fight, but you know what? This, ooh... 
Yeah, I'm still pretty confident I could make this one. Uh, yeah, I could probably win this fight, but you know what? It's not this hero's fight to win. I'm going to surrender the enemy and depart in shame. <clears throat> Wait, what? Uh, hello? The... Wait, there's no one in that... There was no one guarding that ramper town? What? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. I'll be honest, I don't want to have to run all the way back for that ramper town. Uh, where was it? Not this one. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go defend that. <laughs> yeah, I have at least one hero could have gone and defended it. But they didn't. Ramper Town. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. Wait, no. It's, uh... Is there anyone near here? Not really. I think that Teal actually did get eliminated, if I remember right. Yeah, Teal's out, so I don't need to even worry about this. Just realize one other thing. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, right. So, Town Portal to... I believe it's Emerald Moor. So now... I can fight Clancy. I'll even fight him open field. I don't think uh, I need to even defend for this. I would dual wield Shaman's Puppets, but uh, the game thinks it's too broken. Alright, here we go. Oh, three spell points? Okay. Well, I'm a shield and I'm a brawl. Yeah, let's go. Uh oh. Yo, these guys actually. Oh, yo, his stats are pretty high. Um. Alright, okay. Try this. What if I just counter strike? You know what? Yeah, I'm kind of curious about this. What if I just use the counter strike? Shield first and the counter strike, yeah. Counter-Strike. Where is it? Counter-Strike. Not talking about the uh, first-person shooter, either. Oh, they flew back. Okay. Uh, okay. I can... Hit... Well, I'll wait a second, because I need them to shoot first. Then now I can summon a clone. These guys are pretty tanky. It's like, for some reason, their guys are super tanky and my guys are super tanky. All at the same time. I, uh, yeah, so, uh, sends the gold dragons after me. Alright, let's get a uh, clone out here, but I think that he's gonna shoot at that using his, uh, Bedil or his Grand Elves, yeah. He's eventually gonna run out of shots. Oh wait, no, never mind, he's got an ammo cart. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, and then I don't th oh, I haven't hasted yet. Oh, I don't have enough damage to kill him anymore. Well, that is rather unfortunate. Oh yeah, they're getting ready to brawl me. Oh well, it was a fun run while it lasted. I was wondering how far I could get against these gold dragons using just the armadillos. Oh, I could frenzy them too, but... Alright, at this point I'm going to start bringing them back. I think it's about time. Oh, I don't think I can bring all of them back, actually. Yeah, these guys... These guys are painful. That's so annoying. They keep actually blinding me with their hits.
Wait a second, is there... Do they roll along the ground when they hit? Hold on, I, I gotta slow-mo that real quick. That was... Okay, that's fine. Whee! They actually <laughs> roll over to where they're trying to go. That's actually kind of funny. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, these guys are these guys are quite tanky, but the armadillos almost held off an entire army by themselves. Like, even with me goofing around and not casting, like, the... You know, the correct spells. Like, prob okay, to be honest, uh, I guess I didn't really have implosion, so I couldn't really implode those guys, but the very first thing I should have done in this fight is to get rid of the Grand Elves, and I could actually preserve all my armadillos. Um, but yeah, let me just see if I can win this fight off of just brawling the gold dragons. The Grand Elves... On my guys. Uh oh, I guess I guess I can't actually brawl them after all, or maybe I can. It's close. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, this is how the end result would look like. I oh, they fled. Oh, they actually have another town. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, ain't that something? All right. Well, I mean. Yeah. I'm going to try this fight one more time. <clears throat> I'm going to show you probably the what I think is probably the correct way to go about playing this. Um, so definitely shield. Uh, because I'm taking quite a beating. I mean, in the first place, I should just be defending in town. I'm, like, that's kind of a given at this point. Pegasi. Defend. Well, actually, I should have even considered slow, or mass slow here, but... Yeah. You know what? Blind. They're speed 8s, speed 11s. You guys are all dangerous. Defend. Blind. Ow. Yeah, this is probably the way to go. Uh, these guys... If I bolt them, then start playing really aggressively. Okay, now I can start res spamming. How much damage did that ballista even do? Well, I mean, once it doesn't get bad luck, I mean. It still gets bad luck, okay. 29, alright. Did it get bad luck like four times in a row? I think it did. Alright. Okay, it does 16 damage. Oh, that's great. Um, can I res some more? Or... Yeah, I can still res a few, but no need. Okay, I can hit these guys. Oh, they want to brawl. Okay, well, I'm ready now. Uh, because now I'm back to full power on this stack, so... Yeah, definitely do a lot more than before. Okay, we'll hit these guys. Uh, we'll hit these guys. How much? Any more turns here? I can probably haste. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Can I frenzy them? Oh, man. I'm actually curious to see if I can. How much damage I get out of this? Frenzy! Oh, I can actually insta-kill all of them if I do that. 
Um, okay. And I can res these guys back. Or I can blind them for insurance. Hit this. Res these guys. Yep. And and we're good to go. Oh, shoot. No, oh, I didn't realize that I can't kill them all in one go, but that's fine. I don't get to steal his artifacts this fight, but we can save it for later, I suppose. Um, You know what? I will get water magic, because then maybe I can have some fun with uh, some water spells that clone. Well, I guess it doesn't really make much of a difference. I already have... Uh, I can already clone my armadillos, so I guess that's sort of pointless. But I can get Bless. That could be fun. Uh, actually, you know what? I did drain out a lot of my spell points. I should go back to Emerald more. You land Wyona. Okay. Yeah, so that's what happened. And I think we're good. <clears throat> Wait, this time he actually flees altogether? Okay, I was not expecting that, but AI does work in mysterious ways. Alright, again, these are going to hopefully be... Oh, right, I'll start flying. <laughs> uh, these are speed 15s, right? So, if I... Do this. What? Actually? They can kill one even okay. I guess a fully built town would be uh would do it. I mean I could wait and wait another turn and get resurrection, but I don't need to keep every single coatal alive. I think that's totally okay. Well actually, wait. I don't have water magic on this guy, right? Actually, it doesn't even matter. The arrow towers always go first. Alright, great. That's too bad, but, I mean, what can you do about it, right? Implosion and dimension door. Alright, cool. Didn't know that I should expect an implosion to the face later. Alright, well, Rathmont is not letting Yulan get away. I will, uh... The only question for me is, who am I taking the fight with? Am I going to take the fight with... Uh, wait a second. Oh, here we go. We have Morton here. And we got some armies chilling. So, do I want to take this fight against Yulan with Rathmont, or... Wynona? The, basically my juggernauts, like my brand new juggernauts, or my range units. Well, I'll probably use the juggernauts for this, because, again, I want to try these guys out. And I can actually clone them, too. Oh, the, the game says that I, I'm going to need to retreat? Wait, wait, wait a second. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I overestimated my army. My ranged army almost certainly can take this, but I don't think Juggernauts alone would be able to hold their own here. I was thinking of, of like, I got the uh, Orb of Vulnerability because I was planning to do, like, Frenzy on these guys because they're not immune to mind spells for some reason, even though they're mechanical, so it really shouldn't work. And I was going to try to, like, hit all three of these with one fell swoop. That's what I had in mind. Like, look at that. But, uh, yeah, this blind, bro. I mean, not that it matters. Like, I can't win the fight off of uh, that alone. There's no way. Yeah, I'm going to just 
head back to Glade Root real quick. And I'll let this hero do all the defending, and this hero can try to look for a new place to go and uh, chase after. Yeah, I can maybe, like, fight uh, if I'm defending, but that's it, really. Is there anybody near here? No, I guess not, but... Yeah, what other towns can I go to at this point? Uh, I think I'm... I think I've actually conquered most, if not all, of the towns. I will still... I'm kind of curious. I will uh, keep exploring, though, just for fun. Oh, okay, well... Uh, no. Yes. Okay, I'll hang here. Uh, with a mage guild level 1, uh, so that, well, yeah, I'll just hang here, and then view Earth, and this would probably take me to Orange, or one of the, something here takes me to Orange. Yeah, because I saw his heroes were in that area, but anyway, I'll worry about that next turn. Here is another hero that needs to get a move on it. Oops, that was not what I meant to cast. Okay. Again, I don't think there's anything here, right, that I need to worry about. Doesn't look like there is, so I'm gonna DD, and I'm gonna keep uh, running down this way. I'll be able to capture it in like a turn or two. Probably next turn, to tell you the truth. Oh, visions. Come on. Ah, fight. Or they all want to fight. Yeah, I wanted to grab the gunslingers, but my army's not strong enough for that, I guess. If I merge all my armies together, maybe I could convince them to join. I have 163,000 gold. Like, I think this would be a good time to do it if, I, if ever I wanted to do. Or if I ever I wanted to, but... Oh, well. I... I think I'll pass on that for now. Um, oh yeah, right. This hero was actually headed out to uh, chase after Tan player. I like how a lot of my heroes are on advanced air magic. Okay, so... That's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm missing one hero. Ah, yes, this one. Oh, right, I'm just chilling. Okay. Makes sense. I've done my turn. Uh, this Ramper Town. Is it guarded? I can't remember if this town is guarded or not. Yeah. Oh, no, this one's not guarded. What the heck? All right. Okay, they're just coming in and hijacking my towns at this point. Um. Oh, uh oh. You know, I don't have any like really good spells to be throwing out. Oh, and they even okay. You know what? You get temporary invulnerability without skipping a turn. Why are they running at me? Why are the AI playing so weird now? Uh, I can shield, but that's not enough. Wow, this is a big army, man. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know what? These are the, I think, final turns of the game. I think if I can win this one, this is still perfectly fine for me. Although, yeah, this will be very difficult to manage. Yeah, I'll shield. I'll take out as many of these guys as I can. 
haste. Air shield. Well, yeah, I don't actually think I have enough meat shields here. <laughs> like, yeah, these Crimson Coetals by themselves can't take on nine Titans with no spell points. I mean, like, even with shield, shield's quite handy, and so is the invulnerability, but it's not enough. Alright, uh... Yeah, I will <laughs> resort to doing some of black magic to get myself out of here as per the usual. I know that some of you might be disappointed that this is how the uh, how the playthrough has turned out, but again, I am uh, yeah, I really just wanted to showcase the individual units in this faction. That was like the big thing for me. I'm not trying to, you know, play like a super serious game or anything like that. Uh, kind of a lame excuse in some ways, but that's the truth. Um, I will instead of going after the dun or the uh, conflicts player right away. I'm gonna try and let this hero take the siege against Morton. Yeah, I know that I'm kind of changing how I did this turn, but. Um, I also don't want... wait, which town was it? Yeah, I also don't want this game to drag on longer than it already has. It's been, uh... How long has it been? It's been almost ten hours, like, come on. Uh, let's... I could probably even go and attack him now and see. Uh, the game is gonna say that I... am no bueno. Wait a second. Wow, these guys hit hard. Yeah, I mean, it is like month three, so it's not really much of a surprise that uh, my armies, individual armies, are struggling quite a bit here. Uh, do I at least have force field? Where's my force field? Why haven't they given me force field yet? I feel like I've visited like so many towns. Okay, well, I could resurrect and see what happens, but I don't think it's going to be enough, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I think if I want to fight this, I'll have to do it from inside the town. And definitely casting slow isn't enough either, because they have gold dragons now, too. Yeah, and... Yeah. <laughs> I don't have enough stats. Uh, alright, well. How about the other fight that I took? Oh, right, it was the... I guess I'll let this dude take the fight. Um, it's kind of interesting, because Crimson Coatles, like, the only reason that I would lose a fight when I have Crimson Coatles is if either A, they have speed advantage, or B, uh, I have no mana. Because otherwise, I'll just go invulnerable and Armageddon at the start of every single fight, and then that's not particularly interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna use... Again, I think I'll just lock down this town with Victoria, and then for uh, the town that I just took, Corona, I'm going to get Sam to try and do some shenanigans here. Oh, very nice. Oh, those are some pretty crazy stats. Alright, yo, I'm all for it. I am all for it. Oops. Wrong button. Okay, let's try it like this. Does he decide to attack this time? Or is he out? He should attack. I mean, his army's significantly stronger than mine. Or at least it'll look that way. Okay, great. Uh, and if I auto combat, I just want to see how they play it out. Oh, yo, they have. Uh, they actually. 
Uh, broke down the front gate with, uh, like, ballistics. No wonder. I can't... Well, I can blind the war unicorns. I can slow, but it'll just recast the thing. Yeah, this is a tough one. <laughs> this is actually a tough one. I don't think I can actually win this uh, on this hero. Uh, they're just too fast, and they bring too many... Like, yeah, these guys are just not tanky enough by themselves. And I've kept the entire stack alive this whole time, too. That's too bad, really. They've been... I don't know. I'm just, like, trying to really reflect on this. And Grenadiers and the uh, Tier 6 units, Bounty Hunters or whatever, those have gotten me really far by themselves, but... These guys, not so much. I feel like the armadillos would stand a better chance because they're actually pretty tanky. <laughs> anyway, I can cast fire elementals. I can actually, yeah, summon some elementals to soak up some hits for a little while. That's really all I got right now, really. That shield too. Um, yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, I, I could also attempt to Armageddon, but that really doesn't solve my issue here. Like, I'm still in some serious trouble. Like, I actually don't have enough meat to survive getting hit by all this. Like... There's just no way. Stone skin too. Wait, what did... Oh yeah, they rooted me. Okay, well, fire elementals. Alright. Basically just... Oh yeah, okay. We'll rip arrow towers. Anyway, this is the last of his spells though. So I have that going for me at least. I'm gonna blind these guys and defend. That's all I can do right now. Alright, cool. Now I can blind... Mm. Wait. Resistance? They added resistance back into the game? That's so funny. Okay. It took out resistance and they brought it back. And wait, no. They, it's uh, war unicorns that are giving them resistance. I see. I see it now. Alright, well, I gotta blind these guys or else... Or if I can't successfully blind them, then I lose the fight. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had to actually rely on Berserk Spam to... kind of get me by. Oh, well, I was wondering if this was the hero with the Orb of Vulnerability, but I guess not. Okay, well, at this point, I can start showering these guys. Yeah, I don't have enough spell points either. Darn, this is... This is rough. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough spell points, I just realized. Hmm. Fire elementals? If I summon another batch, maybe? Okay, like, brawl them, I guess. Wait a second, this is the landmine specialist, right? How much damage does my landmines, or do my landmines do now? 290. Well, still not as useful as just dropping a meteor shower. I feel like early game maybe, no, no. Th this thing, I'm, I can't justify it, I'm sorry. Like, I need, they, they need to add fire magic onto this hero to make it even remotely relevant. Like, this isn't good enough this by itself. Fire elementals. Okay, these guys are still blinded for quite a number of turns, it looks like. I 
I can res these guys back. And I'll swing. And, uh, I mean, I get one more res, so. Whee! Hit these guys. Hit these guys. They're still blinded right now. Blinded and slowed, so. Um. Yeah, my blinds. Because of their stupid Pegasi, it's uh, very high spell point cost uh, blind for me. I can magic arrow them for a good amount of damage, but that's about it, really. I can just brawl, I suppose. Are there any units that died close to here? I guess not. Well, sure, I guess I'll just shield them, and then I'll have the fight hand-to-hand. -hand. Here we go. Here's the hoping for the best. Oh, wow. Yo, that one survived like a champ. Oh, shoot. I hadn't actually used up the retaliation in that last round. Okay, I will have to take a hit here, it looks like. Unless I get luck, but of course I didn't, so... Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Actually, wait, these guys are blinded, which means... I, I mean, I have expert blind on this, so what I can do is I can step here, eat the corpses, and then hit them... How many times was that? Devour two corpses and gain additional attacks. So there were two corpses there, and I got one, two, three three hits on them. I could have also gone and devoured all these corpses too, I realized. Yeah, that was... Yeah, this would have been an excellent showcase of of the Korkoi's special ability, um, because I totally could have gone and, like, while these guys were blinded and then just eaten all these corpses and comboed... Like, forget the landmines on this hero. Like, I should just go blind and then eat corpses and then just start swinging for insane amounts of damage because he can't retaliate while blinded. That's the way to play uh, this, this army. Not, not all that other nonsense I've been messing around with, but anyway, yeah, just some musings here. All right, cool. Wow. I have not played, uh, a match that has gone on this long for a very long time. Alright, uh, okay, let's continue on here. Wait, what? How come, oh, I never actually captured this town. That's, uh, kind of silly of me, but that's fine. I mean, because I loaded from the, uh, battle save, but, again, not a big deal. I can always just town portal back whenever, so. Um, yeah, this hero will still be defending this town. Um, yeah, I have the Crimson Coatles here, so... Uh, I'll let Sam defend this town. And in the meantime... Wait, hold on. So let's replay this. Oh. Right. They took the fortress town. It looks like... Or did they take the fortress town? I guess they did. They still have control over this random fortress town. Um, okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to bring this hero back to... Let's go Castellatus. I still don't have my stables bonus yet. I should have that. On this hero, at least. Um, I think that a worthy fight for this hero would be to go for Solium. So, we're going to send him to deal with Solium. Uh, and I'm going to try to avoid using... Just, uh, you know, opening the fight off with uh, Armageddon. But... Well, yeah, I'm going to 
try to avoid just going in vulnerability in Armageddon. I genuinely want to fight them hand to hand with my units and see how well the fight works. As for the rest of my units, uh, yeah, I'm over here. So I could probably just. Warp a couple times. If I had like four times DD, I might actually have been able to make it, but. This will have to do for now. Uh, maybe I'll clear this on the way in just so that. Oh. Wait, 648 damage with 15 of these guys? Wow, okay. Basically, each of them did enough damage to kill a pit lord. <laughs> That's what that means. That's kind of wild to me, but. Fifteen thousand XP. Uh, expert air. Oh, finally, I can DD four times in peace. And I have a lot of towns. That's for sure. Uh, no one's coming to try to stop this town anymore. Like previously, there was somebody. Now, not anymore. Weird. Oh well, all good. Uh, pink and teal are on the well. Pink and teal are apparently stronger. But, well, I don't know why it's pink, teal, then me, and then tan, because tan has like a dozen phoenixes, it looks like. Also, green's on his way over to whoop me, too. Yeah, the engineers should probably be in the same army as my tier 4s and tier 7s. That's probably the way to go. Um, I mean, that's probably how it's supposed to be intended straight up, but, you know. I just wanted to see how well these guys would work by themselves. That was the original plan. Can't even mess slow. <laughs> okay, well, I am curious to see what will happen if I Frenzy? Or actually, I'll wait a second. And then I'll cast Frenzy here. And then I'll do the uh, Heat Stroke attack, and I can choose between one or the other. Oh wow, I can actually kill like almost all three of them with this. Boom! Oh wow, the green dragons will come for me. Ow. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Not sure if worth. Definitely not sure if worth. Okay, well we'll try to blind the other ones then for now. Oh, I can heat stroke them. Yeah. It's the same amount of damage, really. Uh, just, yeah, it's like a range, no... Attack with a heat stroke instead of moving, so... Yeah, if I move and attack... Oh, okay, I get it. I have to choose between moving and then attacking, or just doing the heat stroke attack straight up and... Maybe I've blinded these guys. But yeah, because if I move with these guys, then I can attack them normally. But then if I stand still, I can actually use this thing, which is an AoE uh, breath attack, essentially, that doesn't have any retaliation either, so. Uh, yikes. Uh, this is actually a bit of a problem. Um, hmm. Yeah, that blind really <laughs> messed me up. Uh, yeah, because this could be like the last fight for the Juggernauts um, if they didn't have that happen just now. Well, actually, there is one way I can salvage the. Oh, nope, never mind. I didn't realize that I basically cut off because of these guys. These stupid green dragons. Okay, let me redo that real quick. Alright, I can actually open up with Mass Slow. I, wait, no, I can't even Mass Slow them. This is so dumb. Yeah, because I have um, Orb of Vulnerability, so I could have tried to Mass Slow, but 
Apparently that doesn't work here. I well, I could just shield it. Oh, better yet. Yeah. I would just step down here. Okay, you know what? This is actually perfect for me. Uh, I'm gonna blind these, and then I don't think anyone can get through except for angels. guys too and defend. Oh man. Um yeah, I'll pro air I guess. Just try to protect myself from as much damage that they can do to me. Oh, perfect. Now I can Finally start zerking these two. Alright, perfect. Come on. Go and fight. It's not like I can res my guys back. Can't like sacrifice or anything either, I imagine. Oh yeah, the arrow towers have already destroyed everything, so this is perfect. Dendroid soldiers cannot see. Ice Bolt now? Well, actually, he's out of spell points. Um, I could probably just Cure. Cure would probably be fine, right? Uh, yeah, and at this point, I have to figure out how to deal with the War Unicorns. Uh, I sort of have a way, but it's kind of silly. Blind. And... Magic arrow, and hit. This is so silly, but I'll do it, I guess. If I magic arrow, so 214 plus 150, that's actually barely enough to kill the green dragon, I think. Yep, barely enough to kill it. Alright, uh, for the war unicorns, ah, yes, yes. I mean, when I say... Uh, I'm gonna brawl them and our battle will be legendary, but I don't really feel like I do enough damage with my spells. And I don't have mass slow either, so I have very few spell points. I have no idea how I'm gonna kill that. Uh, yeah, like I can swing, but they're just so tanky, like my stats are not high enough for it to matter. Can't even hypnotize them. I can't even summon an elemental either. This is so dumb. I actually have nothing I can cast. Well, I mean, I can cast this, I guess. But that's it. Clone. Just trying to figure out how to do this. No, oh, they're blocking off the front gate. Other, mm, you know what? Never mind. Y 
Yeah, I feel like there's got to be some way to deal with these guys, but I don't really have one on hand, you know? Sure. Wait, what? I thought I drew out the retaliation. How does that make any sense? I'm so confused right now. Yeah, well, I mean, there was an attempt. I don't know. I... Just trying to have some fun with these silly spells, but and you know, uh, with these scrap armies, but I feel like it's just not enough. Hmm. All right, more unicorns, and I'm just gonna run up here real quick. Or I mean, berserk on these guys. There we go. Uh, again, I wanna, I wanna just zerk all of them, but or maybe I can just blind these guys. Yeah, that's what I did last time, right? Haste. Oh, this time they can actually reach. Oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. water this time? Well, okay. I mean, this time I can just start zerking, I guess. Oh, are they immune? Oh, okay. Well, that just happened. Zerk on these three stacks. Sure. Okay, now my guys are stuck here. Uh, well, these guys are hasted too. Yeah, I don't have anything, man. Um, I'll try this fight one last time, and if not, I'll just reload and actually bring a proper army. <laughs> this I probably should have done from the very beginning of the game. But, uh, yeah, it's been a good run. It really has been. It's been a lot of fun. I have to admit. I just kind of wish that these units were a little bit more resilient to, like, anything, really. Yeah, no, straight up. I'm just getting, <laughs> I'm just getting owned because I don't have. I, I, the whole game, the whole game, they don't give me a single hero that has every single thing that I need on that hero. All right, fine, whatever. You know what? Yeah, Fooey. Do I not have any more dreadnoughts? Ugh. Okay, we're. we're Oh, this is the Frenzy Specialist. Ah, right. Rathmot's the Frenzy Specialist. This makes a lot of sense now. Okay, well, let's let this hero take the fight then against Glade Root. Yeah. This should be sufficient. I can't even town portal out of here. Or, oh, man, this is so annoying. <sighs> I'm just trying to think about how this fight's gonna go if I leave just these items on this hero. Okay, honestly, I kind of feel like I'm just wasting time if I if I do this. Uh, I'm just going to bring everybody. Like, I should have just done this like 20 minutes ago. I'll just defend this town, and then... Uh, what was the other town that got attacked last time? I should have paid a bit more attention. 
Okay, I'll just replay. Okay, that's the one. Teal's hanging out here. Okay, you recap the fortress town. I don't care about that. Okay, I'll bring this one out to the tower town. Corona, I think? Alright. Fine. Using these ranged armies. Well, not even ranged. These are just the mechanical units. What, is he second-guessing himself now? Oh, there you go. He's fighting. This army seems to be faring better than the last one did. So, there's that, at least. Alright. Put up a better fight than the last one, that's for sure. Uh, at least this hero. Oh, yeah, this hero doesn't have any... Still doesn't have slow. Um, okay, well... I can attempt a mass haste at least. Yeah, mass haste sounds good to me. Did he cast a spell? Oh yeah, he ice bolted. Alright, well. I can insta kill these. Probably would be a good idea. Take these ones out first. And hit these guys. Um, okay. Well, I'll also zerk these two stacks. I like how this time the arrow tower hasn't fallen, just because, you know, RNG. Uh, okay. <laughs> and the... Oh! <gasps> Whoa! He zerked me too! He actually zerked me! You gotta be kidding me, dude. They actually changed... Like the AIs, they made it so that the AI is now able to use Berserk too. Okay, well I didn't expect that. I should have, but I didn't. Yeah, I mean it was. It must have been the patch notes that I didn't look at because I. Well, yeah, must have been the patch notes I didn't look at. Simple as that. That's so funny. Um. Okay, I'm gonna blind these guys real quick. Yes, finally. Okay. Ah. Oh. Shoot. Did I bring all of them back? Well, I mean, worst case scenario, I can just clone, can't I? Uh, yeah, and I can't res, I just realized. Shoot. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. This is going to be one of the last fights that these guys take, I think. Oh, you know what? Frenzy them. Take that game. Can't sacrifice anything. There's no way to bring these guys back, right? Yeah, stupid berserk. Repair 1803 hit points of Sentinel Automaton. 60 Sentinel Automatons are restored. Hooray. Alright, yeah, I did lose 30, 34 engineers there, but you know, what can you do about it? Green has been vanquished. Alright. So at last, we have eliminated yet another player. <clears throat> okay, and the rest shall follow. I should be done within the next half hour. I can't imagine why this game would go for very much longer at this point. Uh, yeah. Dimension door real quick. Dimension door down here. And I'll attack. And it's just going to be resurrection on this fight. I'm not going to waste time for this. Uh, one... Two. Resurrection again. One. Two. Alright. Uh, okay. Arlac. And this is a castle town, so... You know what? I'm gonna lock it down for now. Yep, I'm going all in. Oh, Labatha. I mean... You know something? I, oh, wait, yeah, I do have anti-magic. Okay, well, this is perfect then. I could maybe... Oh, wait, no, but his phoenixes get to go first. <laughs> yeah, maybe he'll go back into town 
and then I can like attack it, and then I have ballistics, so I might actually have speed advantage over his phoenixes. That'd be kind of cool if I actually had a use for my ballistics this game, but yeah, that might be a little bit ambitious. Okay, green's out. Yeah, that's probably their best here right now. Oh, they actually still have other ones. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to hold for now. <clears throat> I don't need to keep fighting. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's uh, do that. That would also be good. I have to do this one fight at a time. That's kind of what it's starting to look like. Oh, wow, that's a lot of heroes. Is he sent? No, he's not sending a zero at me. That's kind of a surprise. I also still need to know what that Grail does. I haven't come across any obelisks, like, it feels like, for most of this game. So, that has also helped complicate things. Alright, well... Glorious victory? Okay. Cool. They don't have enough uh, damage to... Well, yeah, they just didn't have enough damage, it looks like. So here's what's going to happen now. I need this hero to end up inside a town so that I can take a siege against them so that I have speed advantage and I can open up with anti-magic. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I don't know if I can really Armageddon my way through that uh, kind of fight either, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Alright, um... Oh, finally, I have expert view error. Alright. Orange is up ahead, it looks like. Just gonna check that again real quick. Yep. Okay. Oh, I know. I get it now. I remember why I was using, uh... Why I was using this. It's because I need to be able to... I mentioned door around. Uh, yeah. Slow. Shoot. Shoot these guys. One, two. One, two, three. Alright. Uh, take these guys out. I'll blind these guys for good measure. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Done. Expert Diplomacy? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have my... Oh, okay, well this might have given me implosion if I had uh, gone with Expert Wisdom instead. Kind of curious to see what can join me here, but looks like nothing for the most part. Oh, come on. only reason I'm even bothering to do these fights is because they're kind of in my way. Not even on the way, but they're in my way. Like, I actually have to take the fight. Alright. Great. Yeah, one more DD. That's it. Ah, okay, can I just fly over this? Oh, no way. I might actually be able to reach. Oh, that's crazy. I actually made it. Sweet! Resurrection. Ah, stables. How convenient. Uh, where are they now? Okay, well, they're hovering around in this area, but again, we did manage to take their towns, so they're probably not too happy about that. Uh, let's see. And still, uh, how come I haven't found a single obelisk? Um, like, at least, it f am I am I tripping? I know I found one obelisk earlier, yes. Like, the very first one at the beginning of the game. And then ever since then, every single uh, zone that I've captured where 
you know, it's... Oh, there you go. There's an obelisk. Should probably start trying to go for those real quick. I mean, like, every player controlled zone should, uh, zone should have at least one obelisk. But the map is so big that I don't know how easy it would be to get a hold of these. Like, all of them. Oh, I already visited that. Am I still on advanced wisdom after all this time? That's crazy. Okay. Uh, the tower town? I know. This tower? Wait, what? I know that they emerged. Oh yeah, here. This uh, tower town is where they're hanging out at. A town portal to Norl and let uh, the army of sandworms do their thing. And meanwhile, pink. Wait a second. Is everybody out of towns? Like, everybody got the same number of towns, so... I might have actually capped everybody's town. Oh, no. No, no. Teal still has a town. Yeah, Teal still has a town, but... Oh, you know what? Yeah, Teal has one town, but all the other ones don't have a town. Um, I need to get somebody on their way... Oh. Yeah, I, I also... Well, yeah. This... This hero can go and do it, I think. Red two-way monolith. Uh, Victoria's defending this town. Um, Noral. Oh, I can't even town portal with this hero. That's right. No, no. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever then. I'll just I'll just chill here. Uh Sam. Corona. There's no way they can well, they have dimension door though. I know they have dimension door. Yeah, you know what? Uh, where was the other obelisk? I know that there's... So there actually have been obelisks. I just haven't really been paying attention to them. So that's actually on me. Uh, town portal to Mistos. Then town portal back to Corona. Okay, I just want to take a look at this one more time. So, it's... Looks to me like grass and mountain, so it's above ground somewhere. <laughs> uh, sure, whatever. I'm gonna pass the turn first, and then I'll see if I can find any more obelisks. Blue Heroes of Benham is banished from this land, finally. I mean, it's about time. Uh, do we really need to see these? I mean, sure, why not? I make my guys invulnerable, and you can't do anything about it. Okay. Apparently, game says that I somehow lost some units. I think my guy's invulnerable. Oh, the arrow tower went down, so, or the uh, gates went down, so maybe they go out? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a full-on brawl from here on out. I see. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see how much damage they... Oh, okay. Yeah. They tried to take them head-on, and they, they actually got owned. Um, there we go. Let's res them. And swing. And it's over. Slow scroll. Oh, I just noticed that <clears throat> when you get, grab the uh, artifacts, they actually show you uh, which spell scroll that you got your hands on. Like, oh, it's a spell uh, scroll slow, scroll implosion, that kind of stuff. Rather than just spell scroll. <laughs> and they show you the spell scroll icon. Maybe with, like, the uh, spells icon on it. I guess, but 
Yeah, that's an interesting change. And now Tan is trying to decide whether to go forward or come back, but decided to come back. Hey, there's Teal. I see, yeah. I had to let Teal take his town back. That's why he's still alive. Alright, I might have to actually start pushing these players because otherwise they're just going to sit still. Oh yeah, this one is going to go down though. I will definitely eliminate this player. Oh, actually I could probably even go like this. This would be sufficient to win the fight. Oh, combat? Oh, I mean... Yeah, they managed to get a spell cast off. That's how I lost them. But if I mass haste, which is what I would have done in the first place, it would have been something like this, yes. Uh, view air. And I see that or Yeah, I'm going to start hunting down the remaining heroes. That's probably just... I mean, like, I want to actually get... No. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to actually see some fights here. So, I'll do it like this. Uh, do I not have speed boosting artifact? I guess not. <laughs> oh wow, this guy's actually got some stats. Um, yeah, let me just slow them down then. In that case. Oh wow, that actually high rolled on that. think there's much else they can do now, so. Oh yeah, that morale do. Okay, uh, hit these ones, hit these ones, hit these ones, hit these ones. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'm pretty sure they don't have any towns, so I'm not going to bother wasting mana. Hit these, and hit these. Alright, I mean, I have everything except for Lion Shield of Courage if I wanted to build Angelic Alliance, but you know what? I don't want to drag this game out for no reason either, so let's uh, just focus on... Oh, is this their last hero? Yeah, I think this is their last hero. But of course I'm one step short from being able to hit them. Or, you know what? What if I fly? Oh yeah, I can reach them. Perfect. And what are Eris' stats? Oh, okay, they're garbage. My guys are even faster than theirs. Oh, fantastic. He has no mana. <clears throat> and probably no spells to cast. Except for protection from error. Orange has been vanquished. And there is a... Or there's an obelisk here. So I can uh, grab that. There is an obelisk. The Tormentor. I had to. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Let's... Uh, He will be headed up, heading up here, and I'm guessing he wants to capture the town. I will fight him um, as part of a siege. Alright. So, kind of weird movement, but I just wanted to view the path, and I want to be within range of the town so that I can hit it. And I'll use ballistics. Like, I could probably hold the town on, uh, like, without it, but I wanted to use it because I have it. So I need him to capture the town and hold it, and then I'll attack him. Um, and, yeah, so, Tan. This is just Tan player. That's orange. I eliminated him. Oh, yeah, Teal is crawling around my one of my towns uh, here, I think. Yeah, let's go do something about him. Cuthbert? Okay, well, let's go whoop him. Enemies fled. No way. No way, Jose. Yep. probably even inferno them, to tell you the truth. I mean, do they even have any spells w that are worthwhile? Uh, 
I don't even have expert forgetfulness. Um, I'll blind these guys. Okay, fine. Blind these guys and hit them. Okay, great. Uh, forget, or er, no wait, resurrect. Hit these guys, hit these guys, hit these guys, hit these guys, and then hit these guys. Boom. Easy kekka. You know, I should make it a, I should really remember to eat those corpses. So that, uh, I can make the most out of my, out of my, a Olgoi Kolkois? Korkois? How, how are they called? <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, I'll send my army to deal with that in a sec, but... I'm gonna just chill here and refill my spell points first. Also just noticed I have a, a Titan's Cuirass that I'm not using. Oh, probably because I was refilling spell points. Okay, gonna end the turn. Okay, it's not that hard, dude. Just go for the town. You don't need to chase after me. You just need to go after the town. Ah, finally. Whoa! He couldn't even reach the town. Okay. Too many heroes. That's... Yeah, there's too many heroes on the map. Simple as that. Alright. Nope. Wait, what? They actually attacked? Uh, can I make them forget? Nope. Apparently no. Oh. No cape to silence either. Okay, well, uh... Sure, I will... <laughs> oh, I actually have force field on this guy. Hmm. That would have been useful, like, many turns ago, but hey, better late than never, I suppose. Shoot these guys, shoot these guys. I'm gonna res these guys, and I'm gonna assume that they'll target... These guys, yeah, as I suspected. So that's two res. Or two resurrections, and... This takes me right back to where I started, essentially. Hey, Serpentarium! Uh, I could totally hit that and get more Coatles. Coatils? Okay, so, again, he's just gonna get his reinforcements from this town. Um, he yeah, does indeed have a, a Vault of Ashes. Uh, so, he gets three Phoenixes a turn here. Um, Deadfall... Okay, I'm gonna go defend Deadfall with this hero. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Or should I go and actually fight some of these guys? I wanna fight, but the problem with this unit, well, there's a lot of problems with this unit, but one of the biggest issues is I don't have, um, I don't have very much speed. Like, that's actually pretty annoying. Oh, I got tactics at least here. That's good. Okay, my stats are looking pretty solid. Uh, what can we do here? We can haste. Let me slow all of them down real quick. Ow! 60, well, you do 39 damage. Okay, well, these guys aren't doing very much at all. Uh, I'll use implosion. I'm just gonna get rid of them. All right. I'm gonna hit 
these guys, and I could probably hit these guys. Um, and then I'm gonna try to see if, like, if I can have some fun with my. Uh, what is this thing called? Heat heat stroke? Ah, oh, I can't quite reach him. That's too bad. All right, let me teleport him out of here, and like, I want to actually hit all these guys at once, if possible. Okay, here we go. Speed sevens. Okay, let's see if this works. And can I? Oh, I can't frenzy them either. That's no fun. I can. Can I? Cl I can't even clone. These guys are tier sevens. Um. Okay. Well. Shield, I guess. Attack with heat stroke. Ow. Well, that was painful. Uh, yeah. Heat stroke it is. Whee! <laughs> now, that was silly kind of fun, but you got him. Uh, which town needs to be defended? Oh, yeah, Deadfall? Yeah. I'll let this army handle Deadfall, although, to be honest, it's probably overkill. What I'm sending at them, at least, is probably overkill. Alright, I'm gonna just chill here for a bit. Uh, is there anybody else? Oh, yeah. This hero needs to start moving towards the other town. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I'm just going to start running. I mean, this is fine. And again, same situation as before. I'm going to just end my turn and I think uh, see what happens. Okay, he really should be capping this town. I mean, he might cap this town and attack me, but again, why? Why would he do something like this? Oh, come on, man. Like, it's not that hard. The town is right there in your face. Why does he keep doing that? Like, he knows that my army is, like, right beside him. And he's just... <laughs> he quad DD'd. Okay, well, I'm not used to seeing the AI do something like that. But that's fine. I can get behind it. Okay, Theodorus, you might think, or you, it looks to me like you are trying to find an escape, but there is no escape in me, I'm afraid. Oh, back of Juggernauts. Uh, oh, Expert Diplo, come on. Hey, whoa, look at that. 13 Juggernauts, half of them will join for 52,000. I have 8 Juggernauts, and 13 will join. Okay, well, I mean... This is a very pleasant surprise. I'll come back for them in a second, but first, I want to take this fight first. Oh, them's a fight in words. Um, okay. Do I have... I could basically just chain lightning my way through this fight, but I'm trying to think of what silly spells I can cast, but um Oh, Inferno. Eh. Don't think. Ah, forget it. Let's just do chain lightning. Plain and simple. What's the best target here? Probably this one, to be honest. Eee. Why are they all so slow in comparison? This is actually... Mm. Oh, of course. Of course the Cape of Silence would prevent me from 
using my spells. Okay, zap all them, and then hit, uh, can I do the, oh yeah, perfect, Wee. and then he flees. I'd rather that than he actually uh, manages to kill one. Uh, the Dread Knights might be in the mood for a fight, okay, sure. I might as well slow them down. Actually, why am I wasting my time with silly fights like these? Um, like, I'm doing it for fun, but still, like, this is truly a pointless, pointless fight. Uh, can I... You know what? I take it back. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, like, skip that battle, because, again, we're so close to the end of the game that I... And we've been playing for, like, 11 hours. I think it's time that I do this real quick. Yay! I got some Juggernauts! It's, like, the only joiner I've got in this game. Got some nice offense. And... Yeah. Not bad. I can go... Harvest... If I really wanted to, I could go harvest some other stacks, like... Coatl, Coatils, and uh, other Juggernaut stacks. Like, I actually killed one earlier. I could have tried to use that for... Um, wait, what? Yeah, I could have tried to use that for uh, diplomacy purposes, but... I don't know why he doesn't bring the Magma Ellies. Yeah, seems to be perfectly okay. Like... Seems to be perfectly okay with uh, bringing every other type of unit, just not the magma at least for some reason. Oh, very nice. There is a uh, magical well here, it looks like. Cool. Oh, and I can finally try and, uh, and teal here by going in and Trying to take his town. One old goy Korkoi. And I, again, can burrow and hit. Um, they call it a moves underground, but I think it's basically flying. I don't think there's any difference. Uh, teal is to the bottom right, so. Uh, I don't have enough spell points to open. Hey, there's Syra. Oh. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem. Victoria. You know what? I will block Athenium. I just don't know uh, with what. I just wish I had, like, max spell points. That's basically the only reason I have to, uh, to worry. Otherwise, well, I think all these fights would be pretty trivial. Okay, come on, Ten. Just walk in and recapture your town. How hard is that? How hard is that? You just need to go and recapture your town so that I can go and attack it. And that's that. That'll be the end of... The end of all this nonsense. Okay, yeah. Oh, how do you keep doing that, man? He's never going to let me use my ballistics. I'm so sad. And I also still need to go get that puzzle map, too. Like, I don't even really need the Grail at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah, his army's pretty big. And he's got anti-magic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could just uh, pro-fire into Armageddon and kill everything off except for the Olkoi Korkois. That actually might be a legit strat now that I really think about it. Okay, well, I'm going to do the same. Yeah, I'm actually going to do the same here real quick. See if this uh, is any good.
Okay, yeah. Ah, it's too bad. That anti-magic. Armageddon! Wait, what? He... <laughs> he doesn't have earth magic, so his Armageddon is... quite inferior to mine, it seems. Uh, I can't even... Okay, well, I can't even res my guys, even if I tried, so... Sure. Angel Wings, Titans, Gladius, Equestrians, okay, yeah. Uh, did not expect that fight to go the way it did, but... I mean, there you have it. I could also fight it the long way, but... Yeah, didn't really feel like... Uh, oh, you know what? I could... Use this hero to go back and... Uh, oh, Dare Myth. Okay, that sounds like it could be a really fun fight. Yeah, I'm gonna reload. And I'm gonna let... Um, I'm gonna let this guy do that fight. Uh, Sam. Fort Rotwang. And I still don't have much... I uh, don't have any spell points, but... We'll see what we can do here. Hmm. Yeah, this is rough, not having any spell points, actually, but... We'll see what we can do. Or having very few spell points, I should say. I just want really to think if there's any better way to handle this fight on, like, no spell points. Like, I could come back with max spell points and try to do some goofy things with, like, shield and uh, whatnot. Like, shield and counter-strike, but he basically blows me up with spells and I'm a little curious about something. I could actually force a fight inside the uh, Conflux Town. Give me a second. There's something I can do. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't like this fight right here. I have no idea what I would do. Like, I could cast Shield. And then I could brawl his wyverns. But, I mean, he even has Ring of Oblivion. My original intention was to, like... Uh, his anti-magic doesn't even negate my Armageddon. I was gonna try to, like... Like, you know, Armageddon and everything else. And then eat the corpses and actually use their special ability. But, of course, this one Ring of Oblivion just ruins it all for me. Anyway, so... What I'm gonna do... Uh, again, I know this isn't a... Uh, this isn't... Uh, this is... Not... A factory hero, but I don't care. I just need to stall him for a... I just need to stall him here. Uh, what I mean by that is he's gonna... Hit Stig first, and then he'll capture the town. And I think he'll run out of movement. Because previously he managed to have enough movement to step down one diagonal to like to the bottom left but this should prevent him from doing that yeah that's fine I don't want to see his army okay perfect finally okay I can finally use ballistics ah feels good all right so I can cross that one off my uh, bucket list for this factory playthrough. All in all, I feel like this has been a success so far. Like, it's very, it's been a very lengthy game, but again, like, I did want to take the time to properly explore this faction. I think that's the main thing to keep in mind. 76 spell points. He's got, like, no spell points, though. Yeah, I might just go and brawl him. Maybe. Yeah, his stats are roughly on par with mine, too. Oh, man. Anti-magic, too. That's just not fair, dude. Um, I have a speed 8s. Yeah, speed 12s. Yeah, I'll haste. And I'll wait. Uh, 
<sighs> well, he has a lot of units that are very scary. Yeah, I mean, Juggernauts alone can't handle these guys. Like, if this were like 14 AAs, I, I think that they could actually take this, you know? Or, or something, but even with the Diplo Juggernauts I got, I don't think it's enough. Super Titans. Yeah, they got like multiple range units. Like, I actually don't know which of these I'm supposed to hit first. It's such a annoying battle. Can't implode them, can I? Oh no, I actually can. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, these ones are anti-magic, these ones are not. Um, can I... I can still implode them. Can I zerk them? No, I cannot. I can't even forgetfulness, can I? Yeah, mass forgetfulness would have been fun here, but... Again, they're making things quite difficult for me, this game. And... Why can I... Okay, I can blind everybody but the Titans. Okay, that makes sense. And the uh, Power Liches and the Anti-Magic Nag Queens. Uh, Implosion? I can have Teleport, too. You know what? Yeah, I want to... Oh. Even miss Morale. Oh, well, that's just lovely. Alright, attack with a heat stroke. Boom! That's not enough though. Our stats are like too even at this point. Like. Yeah, no, I don't think I can take this uh, these guys on. Um Yeah, the fights are a lot more interesting without res, like... Like, every fight that I've done, I'm just spamming, like, slow and res and implosion. Uh, it's nice to have those banned. I, I mean, I remember why I banned them in the first place going through this particular playthrough, but... Uh, and also, like, I can only imagine how I would have played this game out if I didn't have access to those things. Especially without Didi and Fly on a, a giant-sized map. Um, anyway. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with these, uh, juggernauts. Like, I can't even frenzy them. I can't res them, of course. Like, I can always anti-magic an Armageddon, I guess, just with every other fight, but that's kind of no fun. Um, I'm gonna reload. Uh, I'll let them have this town, but then for the next fight, I'm just gonna bring, like, everybody because I don't think that any one of my armies can take on Tan alone. That's Tan player, right? Or Pink player. Yeah, I'm starting to understand now why they're saying that that's the strongest army. Yeah. Fine. I'll pass for now. Oh, uh, this is not the right town to be in. Derendator? Yeah, I'll actually bring my full army for that fight. Like, I could win it probably just by, you know, anti magic and army getting like most of the other fights, but I really wanted to see these units in action. probably chase after these guys too. Yep, 
you can have that town. And now, at long last, I've been waiting for this battle. I can actually even take this off. Oh, I cast fly while I'm at it. Uh, yep, there we go. Then I can put this back on. And we can chase after. Chase after Tan. Here we go. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I don't really want him to flee, but he's probably got nothing, so. I probably could have gotten vulnerable for that. Here it is. Uh, let's begin the fight. The game says that that's no bueno. Uh, I'm going to open up with Mass Slow. And my Crimson Kuatles are able to get Temporary and Vulnerability without skipping a turn. That's very nice. That is a lot of... That is a lot of Phoenixes, and also... <laughs> I just realized that I'm going to lose my advantage here. Or my speed advantage, because they're <laughs> taking out the gate. So, all this effort I put into trying to get my units in order. It's just going to be for for moot. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't have it. <laughs> I was hoping for uh I was hoping for force field, but I don't have force field. Otherwise, I could have put a force field here and maybe uh yeah, that could have made for a very interesting situation. I don't even have quicksand either. That's so bizarre. I already mass slowed and everything. Well, okay, he got anti magic, but. Blind? Okay. Yeah, what did I even bother? Wait a second. The oh, yeah, these ones are anti magic too. Yeah, I don't feel like these guys by themselves will be enough. I like how the game actually tries to let me cast Berserk even though uh, all their units are immune. Chain Lightning. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I wanted to take this epic battle, but no, it's just not happening. These guys just... I just don't have the manpower for it. I could surrender. Yeah, I'll just surrender. Ah, oh, shoot, but I actually lost a Coatl. Okay, whatever, fine. You know what? Er, no, wait. Uh, it's the battle save. I do have some reinforcements, but still not enough. I think it's time for me to pull my armies together and kind of do uh, eliminate the remaining players that way. Uh, Teal has Rissa. Rissa's their strongest. Um, didn't I already fight Rissa? Hmm, maybe not. I wasn't able to get a single hero that had all four schools of magic. I mean, this is... Well, this was... Uh, yeah, now that I have a flux down, it would have been possible. But my heroes are already all too high level. I think every single one of them. Uh, uh, sure. Okay, so there's pink. Like, 
Where's 10, actually? Should have uh, tried to eliminate 10 here. I should replay this. Oh, I know where he is. Let me get rid of him first. I mean, he's he's lived for too long. Yeah, I'm going to go eliminate 10. Uh, 10 player I know is next to Equinox. Yeah, right over there. I'll go get rid of 10. Spint is low stats, but apparently it says he's got his strongest unit uh, is Phoenixes, so I don't know what's up with that. Ah, good old four times DD. Vlad. No, Mass Haste. Oh, pfft. That's so dumb. Uh, right, I get it now. It's because uh, Tan has this town, that's Solium, uh, to be precise. So, yeah, I basically need to start grouping up my army for the last remaining battles against Tan, Teal, and Pink. Okay, well, it's about time then. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Th well, I'm going to give this one a shot real quick. Like, I'm actually curious to see if I could do it, but I doubt it. I mean, at least not without using some crazy shenanigans. This might be a pretty solid... Wait, does she have a Ring of Oblivion or no? Because I wanted to try to... Oh, yo, her stats are high, though. I don't like that. And I don't have implosion. Ha! Huh. Keep forgetting. Yeah, I want to actually let the Corkoys do their thing. But I... You know what? I think I know how I'm going to do this. Uh... Instead of letting Victoria take the fight, I'm going to let... Uh, is it this guy? Sam. Yeah, I'll let Sam take the fight. Alright, Sam can take the fight. I'm going to town portal Sam to Athenium. I'm going to... Uh, step down for a sec. Um, let's town portal to Darren uh, de Tor, and I'm going to start merging my uh, where is it? Oh, this is the wrong town. Athenium. Alright, Sword of Judgment. Okay, well that was anticlimactic, or anticlimatic. Uh, yeah, Dragon Wing Tabard. All right. Well, I mean, somebody had a teapot, so I need to go get that teapot. Ah, uh, yes, it was this guy. Uh, town portal to Rathmont. Wait, uh, where was Rathmont? Oh yeah, I also have this hero at Emerald Moor. What has this hero been doing? Yeah, I mean, the Armadillo's had a chance to shine. But... Yeah, I think my Armadillo's already had a chance to shine. They, they had, like, a pretty good battle. So at this point, it's just... It's just Olgoy Corkoys. Rampertown, was it? I know that... Oh, yeah, here we go. 
the Rathmet, uh, Glade Root. So, oh, where is it? I think. Town Portal to Glade Root, and then I'm gonna pick up the, uh, artifacts off this hero. Alright. Actually, hopefully demonstrate the Corcoys in action here. I don't have the Lion Shield of Courage it's, and Saddles of the Saint, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, here we go. So, this belongs here, this belongs here, this probably belongs here. Okay, so Sam can uh, go and try this out. What is this? Victoria? Alright, here we go. So, let's see if uh, what we can do here. Now that I actually have some pretty jacked up stats, the game will say that I do very poorly. We'll see about that. They hasted. Okay, that's unexpected. All right, I need yeah. I definitely want to do. Um... I need to get some corpses here. Oh, this hero has Ring of Oblivion. I, I f didn't I kill this hero already? I feel like I killed this hero. If he's got Ring of Oblivion, like... Did I, like, load from autosave, and then it just so happens that... Ugh, I think this is one of the heroes I loaded from autosave on. Well, okay, if he's got Ring of Oblivion, then I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Like, I'm, I'm wasting my time. Like, I, I spent all this trouble, and uh, time and effort and trouble to try to set up like this epic fight and I can't even do it. Um, in that case, then I'll just bring the uh, Kuatls and let them do their thing. Alright, here we go. No, no. Uh, temporary and vulnerable without skipping a turn. And boom, Armageddon. Well, should have just started with that, yeah. Uh, yes. Now I'm gonna anti magic. Fly these guys back and. This is kind of lame, though. I don't wanna win the game off, of, like, win against Teal off of Armageddon. I'm gonna try something a little different for him. Um,. You know what? We'll save Teal for last. Who else can we eliminate? Is it really only pink? Uh, Dardentor. No. Nox. Wow, this game is going really long. Uh, I might... Okay, well, I'm going to give it 10 minutes, and then um, I'm going to try to rush to end, because I don't want to have to make this into a two-parter on, on YouTube, uh, since it can only accept up to, like, 12-hour uploads. Um, yeah, I'm just Town Portal out to cast a lot of, I guess. I don't even know. Alright, I'm just going to pass for a second and try and see. Oh, they can four times ED too, can't they? I just want to see the uh, Corkoys get like four hits that are all really strong on like like one stack after they devoured everything else, you know, like that wood stack would be perfect. It's just because they have that stupid ring of oblivion. 
It just ruins everything. Actually, yeah, town's got a town here too. Um... Town and Pink have a town. Teal does not. So Teal's next to me. Ah, uh, Town and Pink. This is Pink. This is Tan. And suck. Okay, so what we got here? Yeah, the, uh, evidently the Coatles alone are not enough to take on the remaining players, so I think I just merge my armies for Labatha and this hero. I just don't know which of these two is tougher. I feel like Dermoth is easier to go up against. Um, so what I'm going to do against that is I will merge all of my mechanical units. To, well, yeah, I'll merge all my mechanical units and then I'll go try to take that hero on. That sounds like a fun matchup. And then for, I'll bring my full army for Tan. I know it's a very convoluted way to go about doing things, but... Uh, yeah, you guys know me. I'm trying to... Trying to make sure that we're just having some fun here. And golden bow, okay. Um, yeah, this is definitely the hero that I'd like to take the fight with. But the only question I have here is, where's the orb of vulnerability? Is it on? Yeah, who has orb of vulnerability? Is it this hero? Oh, that's so bizarre. Okay, Athenium. Temporal to Athenium, or is it uh, Glade Root? Okay, it's Glade Root. All right, this is the last time I'm ever going to do this. Having like this many heroes to manage, this is actually so annoying. Um, like, I'm not the biggest fan of doing this one hero stuff. Like, I know that there's people who love one hero. I'm not saying that I want to move move over to one hero, but like, this is just like I'm just not used to managing so many heroes for like a single player game you know like this is this is way too sweaty for me <laughs> for just regular single player I feel that's all I'm trying to say okay this should be replaced with this the orb of firmament while I'm at it Ring of Suppression too, why not? Hideous Mask, yeah, don't mind if I do. Alright, Wrathment. Yeah. Where... Okay. I'm actually going to let... Uh, deal with this first because I think that if like Victoria can actually do four times DD so I'm gonna town portal the mash machina oh I only have three times DD on this hero see like this is what I'm talking about like I can't keep track of which one has what or access to which uh, things at this point One, two, 
three. Oh, come on, man. Ah, all right. Implosion, I guess. Like, what else? Okay. And I can res these guys. Oh, can't even... They left their Arch Magi in town? Oh, I get... Wait, oh, because they got Walking Dead. Ha! <laughs> I see. They have, uh... What's it called? They actually have Diplomacy, I guess. Oh. Well go like this, and go like this, and I can actually repair these guys. Alright, well that's fantastic. And I also have just enough spell points to t uh, TP out. So, yeah, also this hero can do something similar. I can this, just the level, dimension door out over here. Oh, come on, if they morale on the first round. Okay, good. And this town, I have the thing, and they got Rathbund, and I am ready to fight. There we go. Now, at last. Uh, fight! Actually, I wonder if the Corkoys themselves would be enough here. Oh wait, no, but I don't have... I don't really have, uh... Resurrection. Well, I don't know if I really need Resurrection for this. Corkoys, where are they? Let's try this first and see what happens. Maybe the uh, stats. Um, yeah, maybe the stats will be enough to handle taking on Pink here. And he has no spell, uh, spell points either, so. He cast a Pearl Water. That's quite a surprise. Again, I could open up and just implode him in the face, but. Uh, I will try to air shield first. Oh yeah, he only pro-watered because that's his only available spell. Um, do I at least have... I still don't have force field, dude. I'm gonna shield and probably uh, use counter-strike in a second. Strike here real quick. I just need to stay away from these. I should have just blinded them, to be honest. That probably would have been the way to go. Ow. Alright, now I can res them. There we go. Uh, I'll teleport these guys real quick. Well, actually, I don't even need to. I need to blind these guys specifically. Because I gotta save the best for last here. Yeah, come on, Counter Strike, you got this. Ooh. I'm gonna resurrect these guys. Yeah, swing them. Arr oh, okay. Devour four corpses. 
Very nice. Alright. I'll res them. Devour the four corpses. And now we get to attack five times. <laughs> Set up the whole game for this. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. I'm not even going to bless just so we get to see the hits in action. Oh, oh. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Uh, that's fun, but in any standard game of Hoda, this will never, this will never be useful. <laughs> and there we go. I could attack them, or I can devour a corpse. Uh, and also res these guys real quick, too. Devour corpse additional attack. And then, of course, these guys are not blinded, but all the same. Uh, I'll hit retaliate for half damage. Oh, I can even frenzy them for fun, too. If I frenzy them, though, like... Yeah, if I frenzy them, it's probably an instant kill. Yeah, they go from taking out 8 to 11 to 16 to 22. And they attack three times, so. Here we go. Oh. And boom. Boom! Easy, Katka. And it was only... Well, oh, and he's got Lion Shield of Courage. Does he have... No, he doesn't actually have... Oh, okay. I'll take Interference then. But, yeah, no Sandals of the Saint. I don't think anybody has had Sandals of the Saint this whole game. Alright, well, there you go. Uh... That was fun. I got to mess around with the Olgoi Corkoys, and I think it was mostly just a, a stat... Well, an issue with the stats. Um, <clears throat> Rathmont, the Frenzy Specialist. I guess that guy can be next. I'll get him to go with the same artifacts. Uh... Yeah, I just need these guys by themselves. Should be enough. Yeah, I'll chase down Tan in a little bit. Alright, well, uh, Pink is almost out at this point. Uh, apparently Teal wants to tussle, though. He's going to DD and capture his town back. How every time, every time the game has to think, has to stop and think about it, what they're going to do. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, ain't it? Forgetfulness, okay. Uh, is there any fancy way I want to deal with these guys? I'll go bring the Juggernauts for this fight. Yeah, I'll bring the Juggernauts. Um, and then I'll bring my full army to fight Tan, and that'll be the finale, I guess. Yeah, I want to use these guys. I already used the Armadillos. Uh, Ziff. Celestine. Okay, yeah, so, well, Celestine's the armadillo user, though. I can dimension. Oh, I can dimension door. Oh, this is fantastic. This works out perfectly. Retreat. Yes, I will bring him back in this town. Or denter, and then Athenium to the Athenium, and we will go like this. 
response bar. All right, perfect. It'll be just Rathman by himself. So we'll see what he can pull off with this army. Here you go. Come on, Teal. All right, wow. Looks like this is a good fight after all. Oh, wow. They split themselves up so weirdly, too. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going uh, to wait. I'm hoping that maybe some of their units will come forward. Oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to do this then. Aha! I'm going to teleport them in right here. And I will do a crazy heat beam. That's how it works, right? Can I hit all of them? Oh! <laughs> Blind, too. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Blind. Reblinding, why don't ya? There we go. That was a nice heat stroke hit. I, mean, I still do end up losing a juggernaut, but you know what? I think that's acceptable. Oh! Oh! I can clone these guys, too. Yeah. Here we go. Boom. And I'll hit him with the heat stroke just for fun. Wow, that's still pretty crazy to me, though. Like, that I can hit so many units with just one heat stroke. Wait. The Titans. Oh, they got luck on the first hit. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. This is interesting, actually. I didn't realize that it reached so far. I thought it was... So it's like a breath attack in, like, every direction, and then some. Um, yeah. Like, it's like a full... I don't know how to describe it. It's like an arc, yeah. It hits everything in an arc in front of you. Yeah, I didn't realize that when I did the heat stroke that it would also hit, like, the Naga Queens all the way up there. But it did, so there you go. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, does that mean that if I attack from here, I'll hit everything? Yeah, I can kill all of these guys with one swing, eh? Yeah, there you go. I'll end up losing three Juggernauts, but... Yeah, this is the... Probably the last big fight. Well, the second last big fight of the game. And then we're just going to, uh... Let... This guy grab all of the remaining army, and then I'm gonna, I guess, try to go for Mistos. I'll portal the Mistos. Okay, I'm gonna merge everything now. I think. Wait a second. This is the wrong town. Uh, it's Athenium. Yes. Retreat, wish to flee, and I will go to Mistos. All right, what a game. What a game it has been. Uh, I genuinely do hope that you've all uh, enjoyed the journey, though. I mean, I know that it might have felt like it dragged on for a lot of people, but again, I really was just trying to enjoy myself on this one and play around with Factory and its different units and all in all I do think that it oh you know what there is one thing that I forgot to do and that's to build the uh, to actually look for the grail I mean to be honest this late in the game I can't be arsed to do it I don't want to reveal the whole map but what I will do um, what I will do 
is I'm actually going to just take a look straight up before I end the game. Uh, NWC Zion. Alright, let's take a look. Where's the... Where is the... Um, the Grail Dwelling? Lightning Rod? Is this it? The Lightning Rod increases weekly creature... Okay, yeah, that's also... Striking all enemies with the Lightning at the first round of every battle? What? Okay, that's kind of weird. Lightning Rod, that's so bizarre. So here, let's try this. <laughs> uh, okay, alright. Yep. 168 damage only? That's... I mean... At the start of every fight. Okay, that's fine. What about... I mean, what if I fight something that is quicker than myself? Oh. Okay, yeah, like this one, Enchanters. Okay, yeah, these guys get to go first, and then the Lightning Rod goes off, so... Yeah, it's not... it's similar to Armor of the Damned in that way. Alright, cool. Well, that's good to know. Ah, uh, honestly... Yeah, I was expecting something a little bit more broken than that, so... I'm kind of... I'm actually sort of relieved to see that it's... Well... Yeah, not as broken as I was expecting. I was actually expecting it to be something like, I don't know, um, yeah, something ridiculous, like every unit like strikes twice or something, or like uh, all terrain penalties are negated, although I guess Co that's what Cove had, I totally forgot until just now. Um, yeah, I don't know what other ones w would be, <laughs> I don't know what other, uh, what else could be a thing for a Grail Dwelling. Or, or Grail building, I mean. Alright, well, yeah. Uh, and again, it only did like 180 damage despite me having all of my... All of my buildings intact. And it only strikes once at the start of the fight. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, uh, let's get back to where we were. Uh, I was pulling everybody together, right? So... Uh, let's get Durendator. I'm buying out everybody. Um. Yeah, let's uh, head over to Dardentor. Yep, gonna merge all my armies together. Oh, yeah. Are there any other units that I'm missing? I think there's one more. Oh. Yeah, this one. <sighs> okay, Town Portal to Dordenter, and then I can merge uh, these guys these guys, and I mean, I have eight types of units, so I need to get rid of one. Um, yeah, frankly, I don't know which one I'd want to get rid of. It'd probably have to be the uh, Bounty Hunters, to be honest, just because they're, uh, I bled out a lot of them in one of my earlier fights. Uh, if not that, then the Armadillos. So, yeah, land a town portal to Mistos, and then... I will give the rest of my army to uh, Rathmint. What the? Yeah, there we go. And we will start heading on over. Uh, I think this is everybody, right? Like, this is what my final army looks like. There's no way anything trumps that at this point in the game. E2, 463. Okay, let me put my ranged units in the corner. And then I will hope that they don't try to cast Berserk on me or something of that sort. That would be a bit of a bummer, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I can afford to get rid of all these. Uh, 
And yeah, Shaman's Puppet. Uh, this ring. And we're good. Still no Saddles of the Saint, but whatever. Okay, well, I'm out of moves, but the next one will. We'll, uh, we should be able to reach him. Yeah, I think that's just me around there. Oh, and. There we go. Um. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I actually do have ballistics on this guy. Alright. Is he defending the town? Nope, not yet, but. I will... Oh man, they do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna res these guys. Oh, I don't actually have... I don't actually have uh, expert res, unfortunately. Ah, well. That's too bad. But, all good. I'm gonna wait for him to... come back and take this town. And then I shall fight him. And if he doesn't, then... I will have no choice but to just chase after him and fight him outside the town. Again, I want it to have ballistics at my disposal. Uh, just, you know, for fun, mostly. I can take him without it, probably, but still. Uh, I have my bounty hunters, don't I, on this hero? Yeah, I can... Uh, eliminate them at Athenium. Uh, this hero should be sufficient for it. I had a water magic hero, didn't I? Or was it only... Ah, it's only Celestine. Hmm. Uh, yeah, here it is. Glade Root. Yeah, I can hit this. Oh, perfect. That's just what I was looking for. Alright. Now I'm ready. Uh, Athenium. Here we go. Let's see what we can do with this. I mean, I hope they don't uh, lock me down with... I hope they don't... <laughs> Uh, repeatedly lock me down with, like, Berserk or Blind or something of the sort, but here, we'll see what we can do here. Here we go! Oh, Glorious Victory. Alright, oh, he has no s spells. Alright, what I was gonna do is I got to clone these guys and have some fun with these. Actually, they have... Oh, now I, I actually have a chance to find out whether or not they will retaliate to the ranged attacks. Come on. Yeah, you got this. Oh, yep, yeah. The clones <laughs> do retaliate with ranged attacks. I mean, like, why wouldn't they, right? But still, I, I... You never know with these kinds of games. Maybe they changed it or something in a way that we weren't expecting, but nope. It looks to me like... They didn't change it, and we did manage to whoop them. And, uh, yeah. Uh, pink, tan, and teal are all bleeding out. Uh, oh. The heck was that? Why does... Oh yeah, no, tan captured the flux town. That was intentional. Alright. Uh, this next fight will probably be the last battle of the game. At least that's what I'm hoping for here. Wait a second. I just realized that this wasn't even his main hero that I was looking for. Uh, yes. Speed sixes, speed sevens. Okay, well, I mean, same as before. Again, I'm just trying to make room for the guy, but he really doesn't want to come and play, from the looks of things. Yep, cap that town, and there is somebody coming in from one of my southeast snow terrain. 
Okay, I'm lazy to figure out which one's which one it is, so I'm just gonna let Tan make his move. Ah. Oh. Okay, Tan, come on. It's the last few turns of the game. Just... Oh, why are you fling? Okay, fine. I'll take him open field then. Forget the ballistics. Alright. Here, let's go eliminate the remaining heroes. Uh, so... It's this one, right? Town portal to... What's, which town is that even? Norrell. Yep. And yeah, no, there's no way he tops this, I don't think. Or maybe he can. Not very much health, actually. Can I blind them at least? Honestly, time to just drop an Armageddon and call it a day. Uh. guys out of the way. Okay, we got the uh, preemptive hit off. Uh, yeah, we can clone these guys and give them a spin. Oh, cool. Okay, you know what? You know what? Here. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Alright, yes, Celestine abandons my cause, but you know what? We have other great heroes to to throw at them, so you know what? Town Portal to Noral. Can I cast here? Uh, I have units from Fort Rotwang, right? Yeah, okay. Sure. Here we go. Nope. Oh, he actually does get all of my artifacts, though, uh, if I do that. So, probably not the best idea. You know what? Hmm. This is so dumb. <laughs> All this effort for... You know, okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, I have to rewatch his whole turn again. There's no way. I, I'm, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm just gonna load battle safe. I don't want to have to wait for him to uh, decide whether or not he's gonna attack. But then he got... Well, that was all my artifacts now. Like... Hmm. Okay, let me just chase after this guy. Uh, I'll chase after this guy, and then I'll go back and defend Norrell. I think that's basically all that needs to happen. All right, at last, our battle will be legendary. And okay, well, it's glorious victory, I guess. I should have turned off the. Uh, I gotta quick combat this, but yeah, I should have turned off the uh, quick combat results or replayable quick combat so that we weren't spoiled. But you know what? We'll see what we can do. All right. Yep. The AI going at it hard and. Yeah, I mean, I could play this fight myself, but forget that. I'm going to let them show me how it's done. Apparently they hit it hard with that heat stroke. And apparently they're not casting any spells either. Anyway, as we approach the final minutes of uh, today's match, though, I just uh, want to take a moment to thank you all for uh, watching. Um, I might actually have to split this up into two parts, considering how long that this first impression video has gone or whatever you want to call it um but yeah overall uh how do i feel about the faction i feel like yeah i mean it's been it was fun it was a very fun town to mess around with uh and for a lot of different reasons in a lot of different ways tan has been vanquished finally okay and then that just leaves uh how borrowed the equinox
Yeah, I mean, I've been ha I had a lot of fun with it. Like, a lot of really weird abilities, but to be honest, like, even though I had fun with it, I don't know if I'd like it. It's like, I don't really feel like... <sighs> I mean, I might regret saying this later, but... I'm just gonna auto-combat this too. I wanted that last fight to be the final fight of the game, but, you know, you can't, can't have it all, I guess. Anyway. Cool. There's my artifact. Steel's been vanquished, and then I think that... We had one more player, right? Pink? Oh, okay. Well. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll reload and I'll chase after him. Yeah, just to speed things up here, because we're reaching the 12-hour uh, mark. Again, was not <laughs> expecting this game to go as long as it did. And this is with Dimension Door and TP and Fly 2. I don't even know how it got to this point. I guess it's because I'm, like, prolonging the match since I wanted to try all these weird things and have all these like bizarre power stacks okay well this hero was my first ever main and ironically he's going to be the one that i finished the game off on so this is perfect i guess there you go good enough all right uh wait what is that oh come on man where is where's pink Seriously. I don't want to have to sit here and wait for him to think about his turn over and over again. Okay, up there. I'm going to go chase after him. Um, yeah, Town Portal to Corona. Town Portal to Corona, and then Dimension Door, Dimension Door, Dimension Door. Okay, you know what? Good enough. Uh, and don't I have, like, Wizard's Well somewhere? Oh, yes, I do. Why can't I? Oh! Oh, that's... I want to equip Wizards well, but I don't have enough spell pull, or I don't have enough movement. Oh, finally. Mixers of Venom abandoned and he is banished from this land. Okay, there it is. Black Knight. The game's done. I don't know why my final score is 324, even though I played it on 200% difficulty. But, okay, whatever. I don't even care. That's the end of the game. Um, all in all, I think that, like, I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, I've been playing this for the last 12 hours, so it's time for me to, you know, go get some rest. But, uh, some closing remarks I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, I felt like the faction was fun, but I don't know, I wouldn't say that I really liked it, honestly. This is probably going to be my, mm, I want to say my least favorite faction uh, after, like, second least favorite faction after uh, Conflicts. I'm still undecided on that. But, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like the individual units that I played around with were all that strong. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a two-parter, I can already tell. Yeah, I feel like the individual units were... They had, like, these special effects. Like, all of them had, like, special, weird special abilities that would make them annoying to go up against if I had to go up against them in, like, the, uh, as, like, wandering monsters. But... The units themselves were, like, as a power stack, they didn't really feel all that strong. Except for halflings, really. Um, so, like, think about this, right? Like, you go up, I had my engineers, they have breath attack, um, and then I have, like, some of these other units with other fancy effects. Like, we'll ignore armadillos. Armadillos are, like, whatever. They're, like, this, this vanilla unit as you can get. I felt like they just threw that vanilla unit in there just so that not every unit had uh, an effect. Um, but yeah, like, let me just recap that one more time. I just wanted to take a look here real quick. What, what, are, their, what are their abilities? But easier uh, for me to take a look at than remembering it from uh, trying to like get it back from memory. 
detonation of death. Yeah, they just crammed a bunch of special abilities on this thing. There's some cheese strats you can do with it, for sure. This is like Vampire Lords with extra steps, it feels like, if you combo them with Engineers. That's sort of how it feels. Um, this is kind of nice for clearing the map. Grenadiers are good for clearing the map. Armadillos are good as meat shields for a lot of stuff. Olgoi Korkois, like, again, they have a cool special ability. The fact that they can hit, like, so many times is great. But I think, for me, again, like, you don't get enough of these to make a, a useful power stack. Um, like, early on. Like, okay, month two, you have, like, you know, let's say 20 of them, you're good to go. Or if you can get, like, external dwelling, great. But otherwise, it's... Uh, they don't really have anything that allow well I mean aside from their special ability which they only get when they're upgraded uh, I don't really think that these guys are noteworthy that you can't even you know go like poreless summoning uh, unlike dungeon and then go like double minotaurs or something um, bounty hunters again another cheesy <laughs> unit that has well, yeah, it's really just a cheesy unit that is like, you know, it's a range T6 that has higher damage than Cyclops, but a lot less health. I, mean, I don't know what else to say here. And then, of course, the two tier 7s. Kind of cool that they chose to have two tier 7s, but again, I don't personally know if I like the, uh, like the approach that they took here. Like, I don't know if it they needed two tier 7s, and I, I don't know. Um... Yeah, like, I, I can't really put it into words, maybe it's because it's like really late now, but it's, these units just feel so, I feel kind of out of place, I, I don't know what it is, um, again, maybe it's just like these effects are like weird and unique only to factory, um, but yeah, they don't really feel like they fit the way the game is played. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't, I can't really explain it, I guess. Um, yeah, like, what is this? <laughs> the, these juggernauts with their uh, sort of janky, like, arc breath attack thing. I don't know. It's it's so bizarre. Um, yeah, the individual units were were cool, but I feel like Overall, most of the units are kind of like... Mm. Mm. Yeah, I definitely didn't love the faction. <laughs> like I said, it's... It's like, slight, like for me, it's like, better than Conflicts, slightly, aesthetic-wise. But at this point, I feel like I would have actually enjoyed playing Conflicts more. Their heroes were kind of a letdown, too. Uh, the ones that I played with, at least. Um... Yeah, I mean, Frenzy Specialty is kind of fun that I get to start off with Frenzy, but I feel like I don't need to have a specialty for that. Other heroes were kind of whatever. Uh, Landmine Specialty was a letdown. They should have replaced Learning with Fire Magic. I've said that like five times in this video. Lightning Bolt was alright, honestly. Uh, by the time I... Um, I mean, by the time I really got to use Lightning Bolt a, a few times... Uh, like, I didn't even really get to use Lightning Bolt. I ended up spamming blind for a lot of my fights. Uh, and then I got, like, all air on that hero. But So it was kind of a weird progression, but still. Uh, I'm really curious to see... Uh, there was the Halfling Specialist. Uh, and the Gunslinger Specialist. But mostly the Halfling Specialist, because she starts off with three stacks of Halflings. Yeah, three stacks of Halflings. Um... And I feel like that could be fun to mess around with uh, as a start. But yeah, all in all, their heroes were not... They didn't really, you know, hook me, I guess. Like, I wasn't... Uh, I didn't find them, like, broken or, or, like, crazy fun or anything like that. The units were, like I said, okay, enjoyment-wise. Well, but they felt out of place. Uh, 
last thing I'm going to say about the faction in terms... Oh, well, and of course the uh, buildings themselves. The buildings were kind of interesting, I'll admit, like Bank in particular. Uh, I never used the mana generator. Oh, I was kind of skeptical that I would ever get a chance to use this, really, in PvP or against the AI, to be honest. Uh, Artifact Merchants, MG5. It's nice you can build an MG5, but again, like, there's nothing that really stands out about this town's buildings. Bank is cool. I actually <laughs> like Bank. That's probably my favorite thing about this faction, but everything else is sort of meh, I guess, um, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Honestly, I enjoyed Cove more. At least I got to play around with Eovashius and clone specialty. Now that was fun to mess around with, getting two clones? Like, okay. Um, yeah, so the last thing I'm going to say is my my final thoughts on like the balancing on this faction, uh, now that I've had a chance to play it and test out every individual unit and what they can do. Um, I really do think that if... Again, for... For PvP... Because, you know, I've, I've played some PvP. I just don't see this faction being all that strong. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll be proven wrong, but I'm like... Uh, Halfling Grenadiers are good for clearing the map, but they're not good for clearing creature banks. Like, Dragon Utopias... Um, you know, Dragonfly Hives, Griffin Conservatories... Maybe these would be good for Griffin Conservatories, but if it's like a Dragonfly Hive, or maybe even like a Wolf... Well... Okay, let's just stick with Dragonfly Hives. Dragonfly Hives, I don't really know what this faction is supposed to do. Like, they'll bleed Engineers, I guess. Engineers and Armadillos. But they don't have anything that hits hard enough to justify taking on a Dragonfly Hive. Um, similar situation with, like, Wolf Raider Pickets and Griffin Conservatories. I just don't know if this faction is just well-equipped enough to handle those. And I feel like that makes a lot of... Um, PvP like the first two weeks, so I feel like overall this faction is balanced just fine. Um, like if you were to like pick this faction, I I would probably like again I might eat my words on this, but I'd probably still you know easily uh, pay for Necropolis or Dungeon over this town. And as for everything else. Yeah, as for everything else, like, um, like, I'd probably still take this town over, say, like, Inferno, but, yeah, this is like a middle, middle of the line kind of faction, maybe, like, even lower, uh, like, middle and, uh, somewhere between middle and low is kind of how I feel. Uh, but in terms of their individual units, their individual units and their special effects are quite strong. So if you're playing like, I guess like either Arena or if you're playing, like going up against these monsters, like on the map, then I feel like they are actually a challenge. Like you might struggle with some of these Sentinel Automatons. I took a fight against those earlier. That was a pain. Downy Hunters, Preemptive Shot is a pain. The Invulnerability, oh my god goodness that is annoying and then of course uh, not one but two of their units have this stupid like some variation of a breath attack right like and then of course don't even get me started on this stupid thing yeah like how it's immune to blind and stone gaze too because why not yeah that's how I feel uh, yeah I guess like TLDR uh, Factions Heroes are meh. Or, Factions Heroes are... Well, yeah, meh is a good word for it. Factions Heroes feel pretty meh. Factions Units feel kinda... Like, all of them have their special effects. The buildings are meh, except for Bank. Um, you never want to fight... You never want to fight these units on the, uh, like, on the open... Uh, like, on, as wandering monsters on the map. And... I think that the town is probably going to be pretty reasonable for PvP, is my guess. Uh, it'll probably be middle-low um, tier kind of town. Uh, but again, like, 
yeah, even like going up against the AI, I didn't really feel the power of this faction. I remember when I did played as Cove, I had like Sea Dogs as one, like on one hero, and that was enough to clear half the map. And then Nick's Wars was another half, you know, like something like that. Like I'm exaggerating a bit, but yeah, I just felt like Cove's units were uh, stronger when I did my playthrough of them. They've been like rebalanced since, but yeah, like this faction just doesn't feel too overpowered, which I think is kind of a relief, despite the fact that they have two tier sevens. So, yeah. Like when, and also, when would you ever build two tier sevens, right? So, yeah. Anyways, okay, I've uh, rambled long enough. Uh, yeah, I am done at last. Uh, kind of dragged on the ending for like a while, but it's finished at last, and I can go get some rest. Alright everyone, that wraps it up for our first impressions of the new town in Hoda, Factory. I hope you enjoyed the video as always. Thank you all for watching, and have a fun time playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3 and Horn of the Abyss. Peace.